Go down and I'm shit, dog. Down on that. Oh, shit, okay, but oh, right. shit. I'll say something. Oh, shit. Oh, the fuck up. <laughs> Nah, my God, son, I can't say shit in the house. He be like, you can't you know, say shit in the house. God damn it. You better get out of my house. But at a certain point, you gotta, you can't, everything can't be. You can't I'm be. I'm 40 years old, nigga. <laughs> oh, shit. You be in there, goddamn, giving Shannon Sharp no hell looking at that shit. Just giggling like hell. I, I move my little nigga up there with me so he can have a better opportunity and shit. That hard. Boy, that little nigga be in there laughing at every guy. So everything right. pause and shit like that. Like, man. I'm growing. I better be the same way, right? uh, That nigga 14. That shit be fun, though. You got to keep them around, because they keep nah, you young. They nah, keep you up on shit. For sure. Your brother 14? Yeah, yeah. My damn son 15. Yeah, yeah. That nigga just turned 15, in two, yeah. like three, two, three years ago. Has Ash stopped playing the dunk yet? They keep you on your shit, though. You still looking at it? Yeah. They keep you on your shit, yeah, shit. man. Because you, got, you damn near got to be like, we the niggas now, we trying to be cool in their eyes. You gotta, that's a whole nother shit. You know what I'm saying? They gonna make everything you do look like it lame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you like it, it ain't cool. <laughs> yeah. That's how them niggas is. What? Yeah. Me and that nigga get into it about everything. I be like, this nigga here, I ain't got no damn kids, but this nigga here, Bruh. he remind me every day. Uh, and why you don't? Mm hmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that nigga remind me every day, because my boy. <laughs> 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 nigga have a nigga have mad around that house. Be mad around my own damn house. Yeah, man. Nigga clean this up, clean this up. I'm like, bro, I don't want to be doing that shit all day, man. Oh shit. I feel like we about to talk some good shit in here, man. Nah, for sure. Oh. Erica had Justin going there through oh, therapy yeah. in here. Erica, this is your therapy shit? About yeah. Oh, my God. What happened? Y'all on... Yeah, Lo, man. Lowe said uh, Erica came in and woke up my uh, my demons, my issues, yeah, whatever it was. What happened? I don't know. I st- he laid we on the talk- couch. We were talking. Yeah, and I fucked around. Nigga laid on the couch. It all started in 93. So, all right. Lowe said, see, look, he's staring off in space and ain't up that shit on. He got caught gazing, my nigga. You know a nigga going through some shit when he gaze off. Nah, for real. He started thinking. Nigga, started, right. to nigga was staring at some shit that wasn't even there. I called him though. Yeah. I seen him. Another car shit, that's the problem. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. So you had to open up? You, you, you they were trying down? to get me that, bro. I'm good. They were trying to get me that. But see, Erica wanna open up about the lot bless you. Some of the lies she tell. So <laughs> you know. I ain't wanna open up. Nigga. I wish I missed. I don't know, man. I missed that one. You uh, yeah. you know, she she wasn't a, she stuck to the code though. She yeah, pulled a woman shit on him. Uh, he thought nah, that she, she was G. gonna, gonna let it go. She yeah, she, she thought she, she, she was gonna do it. She a G. Yeah, it she stuck to the sympathy. code, though. Yes, no. That's the problem. Not so much sympathy. Yeah. I was, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to see what secrets they be holding back or some shit like that, and she wasn't budging. She wasn't like, nigga, please. Just Go assume they lying about everything, because you she'll just play that team. I'm going to do that anyway. Yeah, I'm going to do that anyway. Men Basically, about that's everything. what I learned. Just assume they lying about everything. Right. And don't ask her shit. Don't, don't press her. My bad. Don't she said don't her. press her, but basically don't question her. Sound about sound, right, though. Sound like therapy right now. See? Don't question her. Yeah, that nigga, yeah. You can't complain. You know what I'm saying? Quote unquote, you can't express yourself. Oh, you can't do that. Well, what you mean? You can't complain about, about what she's doing? She nothing. About yeah, nothing. Oh, no, I just do a performance evaluation. Mm. I just show up and I have a clipboard and I'm like, let's go through it. Oh, she probably said you complained. <laughs> wow. No, I'm not complaining. It's just no, how no, was your not, performance? No, you're not. You're not. But is this a point system or what? Oh, hella points. How many of you let? Oh, she in the negative. When do you get fired? She in the negative. Hey, what number do you get fired? Oh, we. I know some of them 21. I'm giving you two weeks to get your shit together. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Performance evaluation. Wow. You're you're doing great praising and show the praise. Mm -hmm. It really is. And and work time. Women time. They give you 20. They give you 21 points. You don't really want to fuck with. When you get the 19, they spin you for like two days and let you know, hey, nigga, did what it feel like to be fired. And you get them, you know, you get two more points. That's your ass. Damn. No, you ain't, ain't suspending no, hey. You put them no, up. You suspend me, I ain't coming back, man. <laughs> no, he said. Oh, I do, yeah, yeah, I do the punishment. Yeah. You know, I'm a punishment bitch for sure. You suspend for real? me? <laughs> that means I'm subject to suspension? That's right. So you think I'm. They punish me, huh? They get on punishment, huh? <laughs> punish me, bro. Damn. I'm mm-hmm. 90 days, bitch. God damn. But tell her 90. I tried to do a bit like that one time. I punished myself. Wow. You see how that shit worked? 
What did you try to stop fucking her? And she, she went out and got some more. I thought I was teaching a bitch a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> they taught me one. Don't try it again, nigga. What made you think that? Yeah, sis, huh? I don't know, bro. I don't know. You know, when you, all right, you know. If I you don't this, deserve me at my worst, I, you, know what you don't get me at my best. This nigga drove off. <laughs> she drove the fuck off. <laughs> Man, that nigga. bitch was like, all right. Then she oh left God. in a challenger with a nigga screaming, <laughs> Let's go! A hell can it then. Yeah. The big one. Yeah, wild. The wild the exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, you know that it's over you when she posted on that story and that motherfucking hell cat and all you see that nigga elbow. It's over with. Or they, they on the beach. When they <laughs> or, or they on the beach and all you see is his hand toast. All right. <laughs> nah, mm, he posted that. breakfast and it's another plate over there. <laughs> You got a screenshot and zoom in. <laughs> Who the fuck eating off that other plate? Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> country hell. Ain't gonna do it. You know it's a nigga meal. You know it's a nigga meal. Oh, nigga oh, shit, they eat more. Country hell. Country hell. Big ass cheese. Yo. Ain't nothing inside them plates. Ain't nothing inside them. Women don't eat eggs like that. They eat yeah. their eggs scramble. Nah, for real. This nigga drinking an orange juice and a water. Oh, man. Yeah, it's up. He been fucking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he went white. He done told her. This nigga trying to time. rehydrate and wake up. <laughs> Hell, a nigga over there wondering, well, who took the picture? Oh. It's over with. That shit crazy. That's crazy, fool. I had a bitch with me like, oh, all right, we ain't going to do that. See? All that but sometimes that out. shit, you know that shit. She got it going. This bitch, yo, this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? We get into it, and that thing, I know she on the story, and I see another nigga, Knuckles, Holding the cup, talking with it. Yeah, because that's all she put. The bitch put the, they were doing the toast, and she gonna take a picture and just hit knuckles and man. But you know it's social. They be pulling that shit, bro. That could have been. That could have been the security guard. No, at the no. door, like yeah. hold this right you quick. You better hold the security guard and take care of you, bitch. Cause, Cause they I'm do shit. I'm gonna run with it. Yeah. It worked. Next. Wow. Are you taking care of? Hell yeah. I don't know no other way. So you got. You take care of all yours. Huh. You be taking care of If you mind. Not oh. all the ones I fuck. All days of my house. No, hell no. I was like, hey, man, you different. You looking for a rest, mm -hmm. hey, man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. That's crazy. No. That's crazy. No. All of them? No. <laughs> no, I'm not going to even tell that lie. Right. No. Come on, man. Yeah, that can't be the case. Yeah, nah. That's what they think it is. Let the, let the internet tell them. What? You're supposed to take care of all of them? I don't think nobody on the internet happy. That's why they it don't can't uh-uh. It can't be. They got, if you they make up too much heavy, you, you're going to be less happy. It's just a scientific study. I did it. Oh. You what think it's because they seeing people who really happy? Huh? No, because them people ain't happy. It's an unhappy period. Mm. What about us? We on there, mother. Huh? We on there. Yeah, but we ain't on the internet right now. And that's why people fuck with it. If we was on here on the internet, would you fuck with it? If we was all just on here on our phone. Oh, that's you saying like that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm I saying? Somebody, I thought you somebody like, people are active on that motherfucker. No, I'm saying. Yeah. We active on here, but we oh, yeah, actually nah, being yeah, in this be moment. Nah, yeah, when I be out, I be on. I'm in the moment for sure. Yeah, yeah I ain't but figured you got out that shit. You got followers, yeah. Some motherfuckers got a whole life on social media that that they created. You get what I'm saying? Shit, we really, all of us do, goddamn. I no, mean, he talking about motherfuckers just living in a whole la la Like a whole Everything. fantasy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nah, for like sure. they done created a, a version you of themselves that's just yeah, online. You yeah. 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 You nah, was gangsters sure. online, and then they pulled up and slapped the shit out you online. <laughs> and, and took your gun. <laughs> that's make it worse. They took your gun, nigga. Hey, but some of them be finessing into a bag like that, though. Creating a whole facade of who they is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They be finessing into that yeah. paper. Shit. If you could do it right. Yeah, yeah. do that shit. But it is yeah. right. I can't maintain nothing like that, though. You can't. You got to just get the bag and get the fuck on. <laughs> that my heart ain't real. Oh, nah, I got to be me, man. Fuck out of here. Yeah. 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 Some people cool with being fake, though. Yeah, nah, for sure. You know, there's some people find solace in... Yeah, that's them the ones who figure out how to get the money. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Some that's of that shit, saying. you can't, you can't be the real, get the bag. And, yeah. then, and then they make it real. And then it's real. And it was real the whole we time. We get a little money, too, bro. Don't say that. So what was a rapper that you thought went home and just had a totally different accent? Nigga, think she said Oh my god. He rap one way but get to the house and be like, Pull oh, oh, Jesus. Jesus. Nigga, nigga hit the car oh, at the time. They don't even speak English when they leave the bitch. <laughs> oh, this nigga wild. Shit, a lot of them. Oh. Think of it. It's some, it's like, 
It's some of them DJs who make the most money every year with that list come out. And these motherfuckers don't even be performing in front of people. They just nah, doing this shit from the crib. Yeah, don't say nothing. Yeah, yeah. Talk about them motherfucker put a marshmallow head yeah, on it. You don't know who the fuck yeah, that yeah. is. You don't know if that's the same motherfucker. Hey, you know, that's crazy. I ain't never thought about that. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. Motherfucker could perform with a whole moose head. Don't nobody know who the fuck under there. <laughs> the moose you head. don't know if the nigga walked out there and pressed one button and all that shit was pre-recorded or not. Nah, real T. But they make up, I, I will give them this. One thing I, I did, they make up for that shit with other shit. Like, for a motherfucker to just be playing music, you finna see the best 3D light show. Man, this motherfucker finna shoot laser beams into <laughs> we, your eyeball. Like, I'm saying, like... tweaking it in the nature. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> nah. they, they make up for that shit, like... Most like, they just playing music off the shit, and I'm like, yeah, but really... But they're all going to it, though. Yeah. This ain't a home show, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you don't have they, to actually... You gotta make up. fucked up But when you ain't doing shit, you gotta make up for it. Yeah. <laughs> you know all what this shit, but it's the music they playing. All this shit digital now. Yeah. yeah. Cause you can, you know, you a rapper, you can yeah. send that motherfucker to one DJ, he gonna speed that bitch up. And he be like, man, what the fuck you did to my song? He like, trust me, this shit gonna work at nah, the places yeah. I'm going to play this shit the at. The up versions is, yeah. It's a new thing, but it do work though. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause they got an audience who, nigga, these motherfuckers on so much shit, all oh, this shit sound regular to them anyway. They want shit faster. They on that two C. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> They on that two C. <laughs> I just learned about that drug. I didn't know that yeah, every every song got a white people version of it. If you go to the right club, now they do the EDM version. Oh man, mm -hmm. that you sometimes people be having that part of they, uh, the uh the packs they be sending out, bro. But if you take if you get so right now like labels do like if you got one uh, big DJ that put an EDM on somebody's song. It's still gonna go credit to the person's song that it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's gonna it's gonna be but they bank. They go. That's why they do like the slow down version, sped up version, all the different versions of one song. Man, I've been seeing all kind of rap pop up on the on the internet and TikTok and shit. You seen the old English men who be rapping like a motherfucker? It's too old. Yeah. Yeah. They grandpops and shit, but they rapping their ass off. Yeah. I, ain't see, I seen a group of Arabian dudes that was rapping. It was like <laughs> it was like some trap shit. But that shit was yeah, funny. Yeah, like but the Indian was, dudes. But the, but the melody was hard. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was, the I melody saw that was hard. Shit. <laughs> they was like a whole group of them. When you watch it, you like, hold on. Oh, you no, don't know what they saying. Oh, okay. okay. Yes, you don't know what they saying. Uh, it's like thirteen niggas around one nigga, and they just all in that hole, just going off. It's like, a little fat pool Jeremy boy. And he went off on that bitch. Like, you don't know they, what they saying. Bruh, I said, he notorious Punjabi. Yeah. Like, yeah, if he don't come out with a little song yeah. or some shit, yeah, he a little kid, yeah. though. That's what he's saying, but he flowing. He was flowing on that bitch. Yeah, that's it's, all it's, it's, some, it's some creative motherfuckers on TikTok, though. I'll I get him that, though. The I TikTok will have you looking at some shit you didn't even know you like, man. Nah, for real. But they rapping their own shit. Yeah, nah, I hear everything. You fuck shit. around in like one thing, and next thing you know, that's all the fuck you seeing. You can't, you ain't got to like it no more. You fuck around and click on it. You think about it. That shit gonna pop up. Cause I know when motherfuckers, you think about I don't it, even shit, follow. You think about it, that shit be on your phone. These motherfuckers, I don't even shit. follow. When I go, if I click on that shit and look at it, next thing you know, it's gonna be suggesting that I watch some more yeah. of this shit. No, I just was trying to see what the fuck they were doing here. Yeah, now nah, you can be talking talk no about that shit we talking about right now. You look up on your phone, that shit be on there. Yeah. That's why every day I grab my phone and I yell at it and say, big black titties. Because <laughs> that'll be something I never get tired of seeing. But it don't never show me them. It never gone. <coughs> and you know it here. You saying it, you saying it in the wrong way. Give me what I'm asking for. I didn't ask for the other shit. They show you fuck around and talk to somebody about vacuum cleaning and hang up. They show you dirt devils all that across the bitch. Pop all the way up on but that. you ain't seen not one aerial on these motherfuckers. Oh, they can't God. sell you. They can though. Man, they, they, yeah, they, they can, can sell say you. They can, they can tell them to you. Yeah. It's the same people. Not the fuck. What they gonna say to we? You got this drink in my... Oh. Man, somebody pull up. Come on. Pull up. Type shit. Turn that shit up, man. That nigga Bro, I ain't gonna say no lie. I'm gonna just keep it real with you. This is the first time I heard of you. What 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 was out before this? Like what uh, you I had a song called What Your Name Is that was out before this. Okay. But I was already, you know, you got your mixtapes and shit like that. Yeah. Like a This was this yeah. was okay. This nigga flowing. Nah, this nigga that. musical vibe. Ooh. Nah, I appreciate that. Yeah, that's yeah. that's when that's, that's when I came to create across. a little moment, yeah. you know what I'm saying? This this was a little moment. At the time. Shit. I made this song. I was about to say so niggas know where I was from. That's the only reason I made that. Right. Houston, Cause everybody right? thought I was from yeah, they thought I was from Dallas, yeah. and they thought I was from Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? I'm Houston. And so the first song, which your name is, I had a problem. I had 
fucking label. Had what the LA had in the damn video. I didn't think that shit mattered. I was young as fuck, you know what I'm saying? 85 South Show, the big business tour. Come on, man. We changing it up on them, bro. Yeah, we we done already business. went out here and showed them that we ghetto legends and we done. We done. I think we done Act did the three-legged monster. We done did all types. I don't know who the fuck came up with that name. The three-legged monster. The three-legged monster. <laughs> but that's exactly what I'm talking about. We Big business tour. Monsters. The three-legged monster. On our way to Baltimore, we're gonna be at okay. the Chesapeake. Employees Insurance Arena. Yeah. The employers. I think we already understand that they don't have insurance in that arena still. But the employees have insurance. Which Whatever. they should. It's going to be June, June 1st, 1st and the 2nd. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you tell me we, we we done sold out one, we had to add another. Yeah, June 1st. Mm -hmm. I don't even know why we promoting that. That show sold out. We had to Damn. add June 2nd. And so what the, we doing? All the people who can't make it to June 1st, come, on. come to the second show that has on, been on. added. In Baltimore. At the Chief Shake, man. Chief, oh, Lord, that ain't, that's, that's Chesapeake. That shit didn't look like a like Chief Shake. nigga said Chief It's Chesapeake, my it's nigga. Chesapeake. OK, OK. I ain't see the Chesapeake. Man, hurry up and get them tickets, <laughs> oh, Yo, Richmond, Virginia, May 5th, I will be there at the Thunderbone. And yes, I am doing my 600 pound life this time. I know I didn't do it last time. I'm doing it this time. So get those tickets because you know what? This is the last time I will be touring during my 600 pound life. So if you want to see it, get the tickets. Because I'll be there May 5th. That's a Sunday. Get the tickets. I'll be at the Funny Bone, Richmond, Virginia. Get the tickets. Go to 85southshow.com to get the tickets or the Funny Bone website, whichever one you feel like going to. But go to one of them and get the tickets because it's my last time doing 600 pound life. But my whole city was mad about that shit. <laughs> so, yeah, because yeah, it's like, this is our first time since. 2005, we didn't have a nigga on, you know what I'm saying? That's all you saw in the comments. Dang, it was crazy. <laughs> Twitter it was like, I'm like, damn. So I made it my point, like, I'm gonna try to make this shit just, you know, some old Houston shit, some niggas know where a nigga from. That was the only intention. Yeah. Lesson in motherfucking this yeah. guy. Like, I was in my motherfucking, I was in my partner grandma house, nigga, we ain't had no studio. Well, like, it was like a bed, sit on the bed, nigga, that nigga had the hell right here. And I'm just recording, sit on the bed. First like, song? This song. This yeah. song, oh shit. Yeah. Cause yeah, they yeah. went crazy both ways. They yeah. went crazy, screwed and chopped. Yeah, nah, yeah. for sure. And then it went yeah, crazy yeah. just on the radio, nah. like the mainstream shit, like the charts. Yeah, nigga, we did that whole in the highs on the east side. I think it is. At your partner grandma house. Yeah, we ain't none of us had no house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he, like, he was that was the studio though, or that was just on like. That's what he. Shit. That's what we recorded music and yeah, shit. Yeah, okay, yeah, but yeah. he ain't had like. And then Everything, he had to sit yeah. on the nigga bed, nigga, and he, gonna, he on the computer right here. Got edge and I'm sitting on, on the, the wall bed. And nah, shit, no. nigga, just, that? nothing. Wow. Right? Just drive. That nigga was so cold with that shit. He knew how to you know, mix and shit. And Shout out to that nigga. Yeah, my other partner was making the beat. We was just in that whole vibe and shit. <laughs> never, I ain't gonna lie, any of my records, I ain't never really just did none of them in the studio. Like, it's always been like at the highs, you know what I'm saying? And in the room and shit, recording myself and shit like that. That's hard. How long it took you? This right here? Yeah. yeah. I, yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie, I had, I had this shit. Man, he, we cooked the beat. It probably took him like an hour to cook the beat and shit. Probably like another hour, two hours, though. So. When you were doing it, though, did you feel any different? Like, this shit, he'll like, goddamn, be the nah, one. Nah, because at that time, I was just really like, man, I'm just feeding. Like, I'm signing shit, so I'm just like, I'm a coachable nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I got a good coach, I'm gonna work, you feel me? Yeah. So, like, I was just feeding them niggas, and I was like, I got another one, here I go. And I'm just yeah. gonna do the next one. Yeah. I'm not thinking yeah. of none of this shit. The biggest, the crazy thing, I went to do a radio show in Detroit, and I was I was about to, uh, What Your Name Is was my shit at the time. And so I played this song before I did my uh, rehearsal, you know what I'm saying? And the nigga that was behind the boys, he came out there, and he was like, bro, what the fuck was that? And another nigga came, another nigga came. And so I started doing that shit at all the shows. And it was like, I was like, hey, bro, I told my manager, like, hey, nigga, this shit, this might be something, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And then from that shit, we just went. We played the horn radio in Houston. They played the whole 10 times in a row. What? Hell yeah, yeah. Manager was acting uh, like he already knew. I told you. Come <laughs> on, you know what I told you? This is what I was saying. I did this shit. I wanted it. When you went with nah. that shit, you got to tell him. Nah, you for real. You talking about what your name is. I'm talking nah, about the drink in the club. You trying to sneak the shit in the conversation. Nah, so you just, just going to fuck with my favorite song and don't tell me. You know, that's been my shit. Yeah. This is the one. This is what I listen to when I'm listening to the shit. <laughs> I already know, the nigga already, I was just creating all that shit, really, like, me and my partners, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, them niggas ain't had to do nothing. I'm, huh. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? That shit already packaged up. Go do what you gotta do with that old life. And that's how that shit was, bro. That went crazy. Nah, for like You shit, was talking man. about the label shit earlier, man. What's some of the shit that you learned being signed to the major, though? That you actually, man, like, I mean, I, they shit, put me up that lot. time. Them niggas, bro, I learned it's you against them. You know what I'm saying? When you sitting there about to sign that contract, nigga, it's you against them at that table. You know what I'm saying? So if you get fucked over, they let you. You know what I mean? You let yourself. You know what I'm saying? So at the time, I wasn't educated on that shit. I'm young, bro. Like, I'm out there. I grew up poor than a bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? I have hoes in my shoes, the same shoes. I'm hooping in. I'm going to school in them hoes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a nigga asking niggas for change at school to eat lunch with them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so when I came into some money, I'm like, shit, whatever. I, I feel like a nigga gonna be like me. Like, I ain't gonna fuck over nobody. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like. That's how it was gonna be on both sides, and it went like that. But looking back, it's like, I can't be mad at them. It's like, I ain't educate myself, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't, my mind wasn't strong enough at the time, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. but the labels for the young niggas, like, bro, now, like, you don't need that shit, bro. Like, independently, you can get paper out here, you feel me? And you gotta look at yourself like a brand, like a company, like, nigga, you can have a song on the streaming site that's doing a thousand, you say you making a thousand out this bitch, you feel me? Niggas got uh, real estate that they only making a thousand off of, you know what I'm saying? So say you did that with 10 songs, now you making 10,000 a month off, off streaming. It's Cause people be complaining. So I be trying to show boys like, hey, oh, you got to slow down. Mm. You make too much sense. Now, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted you to slow it down for the motherfuckers who so, yeah. they weren't listening fast enough. So basically I'm saying like with that streaming, like, cause a lot of times, see the question that you had, a lot of times niggas say that, like what you learn? And then a lot of time it turned to the bad shit. And so I'm trying to look at it like, niggas got niggas in these situations and niggas coming up. You got the good things too, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, now, yeah. where the game at now, it's like about giving information. So I look at it with the streaming platform, say, we could break it down like if a nigga making a 300 off a song. If you can do that 10 times, you know what I'm saying? Put a 10 song EP, it's safe, for instance, you can make 300 and you making 3,000 a month now. People, you got people that with houses that didn't put $100,000 in houses and real estate and the market and stuff that ain't making that. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta look at yourself like a company, like a brand. Now I can make I made 300. So now I can I can make three times. I can make 30, so on and so forth. And you making, say, 80% of your money. You know what I'm saying? You don't need the label. As long as you can make enough money to put out your next project and you can eat and you got a roof over your head, I feel like you straight, you feel me? But with us, we be on that at advance. You know what I'm saying? Them advances be taking us down. We take the advance, go buy all the designer jury and cars. We done. That's the, you know what I'm saying? That's a loan, you know what I'm saying? One of the worst loans, probably the worst loan you can get, you know what I'm saying? With all kind of interest in there. Label take you out to eat, you see 10 steaks on the table, you think they treating you good, nigga, you paying for all that shit. Paying for everybody's shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you might as well just go and pay for it. Yeah, you paying for all that shit, bro, so. You might be paying for it two times then, bro. They still long story short, bro, you just gotta wise up on your, on the business side, like, you gotta treat yourself like a brand, like a company, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you gotta just, we gotta just wise up as a people, you know, like, it can change, you know what I'm saying? It's meant for it. Niggas be winning. Niggas be winning. Niggas sometimes. be winning. You know sometimes. what I'm saying? The white folks gonna win. You know what I'm saying? They gonna win every time. Cause they got they got their business together. You feel me? Our business don't be together. So that's why we be losing. And it's always the same story over and over and over again. So you independent now? Yeah. I'm on my own label and stuff. My little brother I was on the phone with G. I got him. I got my older brother. I turned all my potters into rappers. So everybody rap. Right. Everybody yeah. rap. So you gonna be around me, you gonna rap. Everybody yeah. up for sure. Yeah. Why not? You never know who, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm, I'm, like I said, I don't keep information, I don't keep knowledge, I don't gonna keep the, you wanna rap? Come on. Right. Yo, boys, let's do it. If, right. if you can't rap, I'll sit there and write the whole shit for you. You know what I'm right. saying? say it, and we're gonna put you out like that, and nobody gonna know, and we gonna go. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's just how I be moving. Your brother that's been crazy. Music. I ain't gonna hold you. Like, my brother, he been making music, <laughs> and he was like, hey. But he know how to record himself and everything. Like, I taught him all that. But really, what's crazy, he seen me do it. I'm going to take that back. He seen me do it, and one day I came home from the club. This was last year. Bro got on TikTok, and TikTok really taught him how to work Pro Tools. And he learned how to record himself while I was gone, and now he been recording his own music and everything. 15 years old, bro, engineering himself. That's what's up. And so I record so all my own music. Is music in your family? Or did nah, it say you and your brother got it? It just started with mm -hmm. me, and then it's like from there. But he be around me, I like, that's yeah. like... My little brother, he's like my son, you know what I'm saying? He yeah. be around me so much, so he gonna imitate, emulate everything I do. Right. So he took he took that though and broke cold, you feel me? That's hard. Nah, yeah, for, for real. Keep that shit in the family. That's hard, man. For, sure. for real. I always look at it like, bro, my little secret weapon, like they don't know, like. He I probably got another proud version. too. He him. Yeah, he, he probably him. proud. He figured out how to do it without you showing him. Oh yeah. 
For sure. Yeah. Let me show you something. Yeah, he been waiting. What I like about him though, what I like about him though, like he gonna work, he gonna sit at the house and record 20, 30 songs. You know what I'm saying? But then I'm not gonna help him, he not gonna ask me for help, but when I wanna help him, he like, he there to receive the information and he okay, know how to man. adjust. He ain't, we ain't bickering when it comes to that music. Right. You, like you hear something? Yeah, you hear right. something? Like, come on. Right. He'll be mad at me sometimes. Man, he don't wanna help me, nigga. God damn, he don't wanna help me. <laughs> I won't help him. Right. I go cold right. on him because right. I want him to, I told him, I'm like, bro, this your gym at the highest. You gotta feel this. This your practice. He made right. one of them ones where you like, shit, I got to get on that motherfucker. Yeah, for sure. I put him, I put both my little brothers on my last album. I put both of them on the album, bro, because it's like this. I don't even, I ain't tripping. Like, if you ain't at your best or whatever, if I'm around you, bro, if you're around me, I'm going to give you everything I got to give you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just how, like, my older brother, he taught me that. Like, that's how we do it. So it's like, nigga, if you got down, if I'm hooping, you hooping. You know what I'm saying? Vice versa. Whatever you doing, I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to give you these opportunities to show you that, bro. It's another outlet. I never had that growing up. So my little brother, they got me, so I'm going to show them every time. When you work like this, you're going to get rewarded. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, us growing up, we ain't, they ain't going to reward us for shit. We just out there hooping by ourselves, right, trying, right. you know yeah. what I'm mean? saying? <laughs> nobody, nobody rewarded us, bro. So it's like, now we got to take our time with these kids and like show them, bro. Like, when you do something good, you get rewarded for it and vice versa. Yeah. Man, that shit just crazy. I'm still here thinking about it. You made a fucking whole hit song at your partner grandma house. Nah, for real. Grandma house. How long... Was it hot, or did you have the song out before, like, everybody? A year. A year, okay, damn. And that's another thing. Like, now, everybody's so short, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, it took, like... It took a whole year, bro. Yeah. So a you was working year. and going around different spots? I was in college, bro. Okay. I'm in college. Like, I stayed in college and everything. Like, my mama put me back in college because I had dropped out. You know, I'm like, right. like, I was 18, nigga. Working at a chemical plant, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. My mama, and that, Homer Simpson. Crazy hair. <laughs> crazy hair. Like, for real. Then my mama was like, man, just give this shit another try. Really, an uh, uh, old school nigga had, I kept going back to the little porta potty, right? Rap to my phone and shit. Right. This old school nigga had came. Huh? No, nah, I was okay. a bunch of shit. Okay. It was crazy. Like, we just had this little Eclipse right. shit. It was some shit like that. Like, right. the sun was beaming on the nigga ass. I was working with this Mexican nigga. He ain't tell me shit. And I'm young. He ain't teaching me shit. I'm just out there, like, fuck it. Man, that old school nigga walked up on me, he blocked the sun. I don't even know what this nigga look like. He was just like, bro, if you got a dream or something, this shit for old niggas. This shit for niggas that ain't got no opportunity. Like, you got a dream, go chase your dream. Then go do that. And I got up and I left. Ain't no better way to tell Man, you. thank God I'm for that old nigga. Man. You are right. tired, nigga. Straight up, nigga. Hey. Oh, nigga, pull up on you, say some real shit. Nah, Young man, yeah. get the fuck on. That, that was either the Asian or the future you. Nah, I'm telling you what, crazy, you know, bro. him and some other old yeah. niggas been sitting around. Look at that light skin nigga. Watching the nigga. They had me doing some crazy shit at the hour. Like, in the morning, like, you or everybody got to, like, pour water up for everybody in the whole damn chemical plant. But they had a four-wheeler to take the nigga to go do that. Mm. Nigga, they gave me, I'm on the four-wheeler. Like, I'm riding that bitch doing that. So, bam, nigga, check it out. First day of that hoe, I, I forgot my lunch. I ain't know I had to bring the lunch out the car. Like, I'm not knowing none of this shit, bro. I'm gonna try. I graduated school 17. I'm 18, nigga. I'm just learning, like, yeah. life. You don't know nothing. Bro, I'm, I'm at the lunch uh, thing. Everybody got their food, and I got my food. I'm like, fuck, I'm gonna go to sleep. It's a true story, nigga. I went to sleep, nigga. I woke up, nigga. <laughs> Why everybody had gave me all they like leftovers and all the food on the table. Like it was crazy, like a whole platter of shit, nigga. <laughs> like it was crazy in the bitch. The young man ain't got nothing. Nah, nah look, they telling me, get, get your ass over. I did hoe, bro. So after that shit, nigga turned up, bro. You know what I'm saying? That college, that college did it. College did everything. Facebook. Where you, you going? You go to school. At? I went to prison. Oh, that so was it. Like, no, like look, I went through that whole like. That's the music school. Come on, bro. nigga. Rogers and all them niggas. Me and DJ chose at the same time. Yeah. B King was working this shit out there. The Hattie Berry, the road, they had just left hey, the year shout before. Shout out to B King. That <laughs> nigga on. hilarious. Bro. Come on, nigga. All out. that shit, bro. Party Bud, Flex, all that shit was at the school. Yeah. And so yeah. me, I was like the only Houston nigga, though. They was all Dallas. They was Dallas boogieing and all that right. shit. But it taught me, like, it gave me swag, though. You know what I'm saying? I had a Houston swag at first. It gave me, like, another kind of swag, like an edginess, you know what I'm saying? Right. And shit, from there, bro, you know, Facebook back in the gap. You had to have a college ID to get on that hoe. Yeah, that you know what I'm saying? So I used that hoe. So shit yeah. niggas be doing now, freestyle videos. I'm doing that shit back in the gap. Right. So what your name is is a six minute freestyle on Facebook. Right. I'm dropping freestyles every couple of days, nigga. And I blow up in college like that, right. nigga. I was already lit. They was just waiting for me to have a song. Okay. I was rapping on everybody else's beats, nigga. Okay, so okay. from there, that shit, it went the fuck up, nigga. That's hard, bro. Nah, for real, bro. 
And then you just worked it. I know you hit other colleges. Did you just no, go straight to other colleges with crazy. the shit once you got the record? I'm going to motherfucking back to Houston back and forth every day. Okay. My partner working at H&B, my manager at the time, he was going back and forth to Houston, going to DJ, uh, DJ meetings, all this shit, performing for free. Like, of course, you, everything's for free. Like, right. I don't have no money, nigga. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp, all right? Hey, it's your boy DC on Fly here. Let's get serious for a second, all right? A common misconception about relationships is that they have to be easy and to be right, all right? But sometimes the best ones happen when both people put in their work to make them great, okay? Now, therapy can be, a, you know, a great place for work through the challenges you face in all of your relationships, whether it's with, you know, friends, work, or significant other, or anyone. All right. Now, if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. All right. Now, become your own soulmate, whether you're looking for one or not. Visit BetterHelp.com slash 85 South today to get 10% off of your first month. Yep, that's BetterHelp. H-E-L-P dot com slash 85 South. Go get help, food. Yo, what's happening? It's your boy DC Young Fly, man. Back at it again with prize picks, man. MLB is in full swing, man. You know, ugly, boy. Which means more money in the bank. Now, go download prize picks right now and use the promo code 85 South, all right? Getting started is so easy, all right? You register with an account, okay? Make a deposit and pick more or less or two to six player stats to win payouts up to 25 times your entry. All first times use that deposit and use our promo code will receive a 100% instant deposit match up to $100. If you deposit $100, then prize picks is gonna match your $100, all right? If you deposit 85, prize picks will give you $85, all right? Right now, available in over 30 states. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and over to Prize Picks right now by tapping in the link below. Go download Prize Picks today and play daily fantasy sports. Make sure you use our promo code 85 South when you sign up. And go get you some. What's up, it's your man Carlos Miller back again with Blue Chew. Come on now, let's talk about it. Summertime is approaching, and I just want to know are you ready to bring the heat for old girl? You feel me? Are you looking to enhance your performance and boost your confidence in the bedroom? Then look no further. Visit BlueChew.com for the solution. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. Look, the process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. But you know the best part? It's all done online, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. That's right, Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at BlueChew.com. Just chew it and do it. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew for free when you use promo code 85SOUTH at checkout. Just pay for the $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code 85SOUTH to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Right. Whatever money you got, nigga, that's what we got. Right. I got shit. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. I got like three pairs of pants. I'm about to wear these hoes every other day, nigga. <laughs> So shit, that's what we was doing. We went to colleges, all that shit. You know, that shit was lit. Like, people, Texas gonna get behind you, though. Know? Texas is right. a different beast, you feel me? That's like, a big state, it's, too. It's different when it comes yeah. to music, bro. Like, they gonna support you forever. I was telling them out there, like, rappers in Texas don't really go, bro. Like, niggas, niggas be on forever, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you can just tour in Texas alone, and you gonna be good. You gonna be yeah, good, yeah, bro. You been performing, you been performing this song everywhere. Everywhere. I'm hey, always, hey, I'm man, we get married, say, what it gonna cost? Just do that one for me, man. For sure. My lady love that yeah. song, man. It, whatever, whatever you, name your pride, man. Man, for sure, bro. Everywhere, I mean, uh, everywhere performing, man. With this that's song, dope, right here, bro. That's dope. Bro, did y'all tell your partner, grandma, that y'all done made a hit at our house? Did she know mm -hmm. this shit? She know. Yeah. 
She be telling yeah. people at the grocery she store, know. you know they made that at mine. Oh, nah, for real. <laughs> nah, she know. They did. Nah, bro, cold like that. For sure. We were doing everything over there. I she said, come knocking on the door. Put some drink in my cup. <laughs> yeah. And he went I in there. I came up with all that he shit. He went in there and he said, nah, it on the Nah, I'd be crazy because my sister's there. Like, every time I be leaving, like, bro, ass not getting in trouble and shit. She, she, like, you hear what I'm saying? Well, guy, y'all been in there all day. Y'all need to turn this shit coming in sometime. Like, y'all need to turn this down. We're never tripping, though. Right. Never tripped on it. Like, right, I always let us right. do our thing. Hey, man. Smoking in there like that. We just making music, bro. That's what's up, man. At least they ain't in them damn streets. Right. I right. Go back there and cut it loud as they want. <laughs> Better they do it here. Yeah, I know. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm knocking on the door for a little shit. God, leave me a little piece of that reefer y'all got in there. I know y'all smoke. <laughs> leave me a piece. Leave, leave me a piece of that reefer now. This, this, this your homeboy blowing Drink in my cup. On. Put a roach in my ass, <laughs> How about that? <laughs> I Cat Williams. Can we talk about Cat Williams for a second? Go for it. All right. Where you at with it? I got to let nigga know, because this shit going the wrong way. Oh, come on, Scott. Oh, shit. OK. Oh, shit. Cat Williams had a great interview. OK. And I okay. fought with it. I okay. watched the whole thing, maybe okay. more than once. Uh -huh. But everybody can't be Cat Williams. Nope. Some of you niggas is going out here, like, calling people out. They're saying your same neighborhood. And you gonna get shot. <laughs> you gonna get killed. You gonna get shot. <laughs> Y'all niggas stop. Hey, doing boy, did you, I say that shit? You told me the same shit. I uh, told you. Man, me when these it niggas crazy, man. You not yeah. Cat Williams. You not yeah. Cat Williams. Yeah. Please stop doing that shit. You do not know what the fuck Cat Williams is. Uh, he live, he don't live uh, next door to them niggas. Uh, That's right. He calling people out. He might not see them niggas all year. Never. You niggas is doing this shit with niggas. You gonna see him next week. You gonna right. get your yeah. cat. You gonna see right. that nigga tomorrow. Please right. stop. And, and cat on some Ooh. comedy shit, some yes. funny shit. Yeah. Like, he with got some an excuse. Comedians. He got Please. an excuse. These niggas doing this shit with some like killers. Yeah. And you know they yeah. can. Right. Can we put some like ass on this part? <laughs> One hundred percent. Yeah. You know they got bodies. <laughs> like kills, chill out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all boy come in and blow me a goddamn shotgun, all this loud ass music back here in my house. Oh no, that's funny, bro. That's crazy, yeah, that's though, dope, man. That's dope, though. That big. Some of the best shit happening, the weirdest place. Spur of the moment type shit. Yeah. That's how it has to happen. Yeah. 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 Okay, so look, you said you had just recorded a bunch of songs and you was just on to the next one. Did you have another one that you thought was gonna. Nah, so I'm gonna be real. Like, these was like. He's just, that was back to back though. Like, what I used to do back in the day, like, I would record what's your name is. I won't record from once. Oh, word. I, when I go back, when I went back, I had this. And then okay. I stopped. And I went back and I had my third scene, which was called Keep It Trill. I had all the whole back to back to back. You know what I'm saying? On three different sessions. That's hard. Yeah, yeah. That's efficient as fuck, too. But, yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. You know, once you get that hit, you gotta. Yeah, you gotta keep it. lock in, hit yeah, that studio, yeah. man. But you know, that shit worked for you. That's your creative process. Yeah. You so when this it. shit, when you write, when you thinking of a song, do you come up with a concept or you just, how you put, what's your process? Man, I go to the computer, I'm gonna play the beat, load the beat up, the mic gonna be right here, I'm just gonna start mumbling and shit, man. I put the words on the shit. Yeah. And then I write the words and then I just record it. Yeah. Like, that's how I be doing it. Yeah. Like, I can hear it, like, ah, oh, this shit take it too damn long. You know what I'm saying? I believe that music is like, it's music, you know what I'm saying? Like it's called music, like it's about feeling and rhythm and melody, you know what I'm saying? Like called uh, words, even though we rap, you know what I mean? Yeah. So with, even if you got good words, you gotta have good feeling behind that shit. The feeling come first, man. you know what I'm saying? That the soul come first, you feel me? Yeah. So I'm going for that every time. The melody. You know what I mean? We getting that game though. Nah, for real. That's how both you know, ain't nothing but another it could easily be whatever you sing on the song could easily be replaced with an instrument. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta look at it like that. A lot of times rappers, you know, wanna just say the coolest bars and all that. You wonder why that shit don't be working because you rapping 35 lines in a bar, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, rapping ass nigga. You gotta go with that feeling. You gotta learn how to make that feeling. And the great ones, they learn how to mix it too. You know what I'm saying? That, that rapping shit right on the beat. Hey man, you, you talking some good shit. Nah, sure. This is a good game right here. Nah, for real. But you know what time it is? Time for Jay Win to play me some pimp. We ain't even got cracked, man. Come on, man. Yeah, you thought we was started. We ain't even. <laughs> man, you thought we had. <laughs> thought we had started this shit. We ain't even started that shit yet. Man, come on, man. You feel me? It's one of them type situations right there. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know, it was just like, like I knew you was coming. And then I, I'm like, man, we gotta have some real smooth pimp type shit playing, you know, when, when it gets. You feel me? Yeah. It's like it's one of them type things where you just you play. Hey, what's up, world? It's your man Carlos Miller, man. Make sure that you head over to 85 Apparel Co. Dot com and grab you some fresh merch, man. Get you a hat, a hoodie, a t-shirt, some socks, a life jacket, um, anything, man. We got all that, all of that, man, from like onesies for the baby. We even got special items for the ladies coming out with my own foot massager. Well, that's what I'm gonna call it anyway. Whatever, that's 85apparelco.com. Go grab you something and support the movement, man, because the 85 South it ain't just about the 85 South, it's about all of us. Play some shit like that. And then you just let that shit play. And then niggas start pulling their phone out like, look, he looking for his rap right now. Oh, Go ahead, read oh, your nah, verse. Nah, nah, nah. You, ain't got, you ain't got a verse in there. You ain't got a verse in there, dog. You ain't got one, bro. I ain't gonna even lie to you. You, see you got a saying? verse. You ain't finna have me out here on the internet looking stupid. <laughs> Now you gonna do that. Appreciate it. Uh, if yeah. ain't there another one, you grab it. No, it's first, another one. And I'll just take a goddamn anything. It's another water in here, man. It's still good. One more. Good. Thank you, bro. One more. Here, here, bro. Oh, yeah. One more. Appreciate it. Working, man. Nah, I don't, I don't do no work in there. I ain't no worker. <laughs> I, don't do, I don't do no work. <laughs> Yeah, get that power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Gonna be... I know that's all he waiting on. Yeah, when they get long, he gonna say it. He letting that shit build, man. Shake him out his face. Yeah, Go I ahead, fucked though. with that. But I'm about to tell the people mm -hmm. what they need to hear. What and you know what that is? Welcome back to the 85 South Show. Yeah. We on a hell of a run right now. We on a hell of a run. Because I told you, once we established what we were doing over here at the 85 South Show, we ain't bringing nothing but motherfucking ghetto legends to the session. To all the sessions. Anytime we have a guest, guess what it's going to be? A legend ghetto legend. Yeah. Ghetto legendary? Ghetto legendary. Yeah. I'm talking about when you wish upon a star type shit. Like, like when you making hit records at your partner grandma house, it don't get no blacker than that. Yeah, that's like real black talk. history. Mm -hmm. Nah, for real, nah. You said when like, you wish that's the way Martin Luther King would have wanted that shit to be. Yeah. Preach then, man. That's what they was marching about. Niggas don't even make hits in the studio. You know? Right, it just go to show you how important family is. Nah, for real. Come on, man. That song I'm just saying, if I made me a grandma, hit record, guess what I want to make it at? Or at the house. At my partner grandma's house. Every time. That's that's that's, that's that even one up at Jesus' auntie house. Bro, that's almost on some dungeon and shit. The dungeon, yeah. A grandma house. Your partner grandma house. That was real. Rico Obama house, right? The dungeon. The dungeon, I think so. Not real tea. That shit hard. Who did it? Uh huh. Yeah. In the kitchen. On the couch. Record that shit at partner grandma's house. Okay. Yeah. In the kitchen. On the couch. I'm recording at my partner grandma's house. Now, Miss Gladys, she real nice. All she say is, son, make sure y'all cut off all the lights. Yeah. <laughs> he in there throw. I know she about to go to bed, she wearing a robe. Yeah. And she be walking around like, are y'all cold? Y'all yeah. want something to eat? Okay then. In there watching Madlock. Yeah. Ain't nobody going nowhere, she got the padlock. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, she man. She don't fuck with Superstar, and she old school. Still got the burglar bar. Yeah. With the plastic on the couch, and she be still saying shit like, Y'all ain't finna do all this in and out. Yeah. <laughs> that little girl called her phone and said, Y'all ain't gotta go nowhere because y'all at home. Yeah. And she'll never be bitching. She made a whole cake and fried a whole bunch of chicken. Oh, yeah. Okay. And that's real. That's crazy. For real. 
And I ain't helped on the bill. Yeah. She put the money in her bra and said, thanks, baby. She his grandma, but she like my old lady. Hold on up. But I ain't hitting nothing. But she be looking for it. <laughs> she be like, I ain't gonna tell you, because you don't know how your grandma get down. She be like, you know, you can come see me sometime. <laughs> you can come see her sometime. <laughs> That's only when she been drinking, when she start being real and tell you what she be thinking. <laughs> she be sneaky drinking gin. I done walked in the room one time, but never again. <laughs> she closed the door and opened that robe up. I said, go ahead, baby, and start grabbing on all this stuff. And I was like, no, hold up, wait. Everybody's still woke. But I might slide back and get a little cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, right, fuck you, shut up. Hey, everybody grow. Everybody grow. Everybody grow. For all the grandmas, the freaky ones. Grandma. They get on that liquor and get the grandma in your face. Stay away from grandma. Yeah, they, yeah, you'd have been approached by uh, a grandma before. Man, like wow. it's just me. It's just me. Uh, well, maybe y'all niggas ain't handsome like me. You can't meet them in the grandma capacity. <laughs> you can't meet them in the grandma capacity. I can't make this up. What? What is it? Damn. Uh, that shit crazy. Uh, told you. Did you, you know, know the cow? Said? What is that? I got to show you. You just said that shit. Lo just said that See? shit for real. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Lo spoke that shit up. The couch. Is Lo the couch? The couch. Magical. Uh, it's the couch. OK, cool. That couch magical, bro. They finna what? pay you a whole show price for, crazy the, shit. for that. And they just want that drink in the court, don't they? That's what she said. A win. You just said that shit. What? That's crazy. That's crazy. Wow, that's, that's crazy. Put a suit on, bro, and do that shit. <laughs> bro, say my nah, uh, real talk, real talk. Long gonna go through for my next truck. No, you gotta say it. <laughs> you gotta say it. Okay, cool. That's wild crazy. What you trying to get? Uh, AMG. Oh, they'll give you the one there. Okay, cool, because I need one. Yeah, they gonna yeah. come get it if you ain't got it. Oh, no, I got it. I just, I need, you know. <laughs> no, yeah. we, gonna, we gonna think tank it up, man. Yeah. Been, you know, we going there as a group. Yeah, Let's go there. On, 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 paper, on paper, I'm broke. Bro, you know, they'll give you one of them. On paper, I'm broke. They're I gotta get all my shit. They gonna come in. Yeah, they gonna come I, get it. One thing about me, I ain't gonna go with, with no old folks. Hey, don't go in the folk lot bothering they shit if you yeah, ain't got it. Yeah, don't bother they shit. Oh, but I, you thought that was it. I got to tell you who we got in here with us today, man. Oh, man. We got. I was Let's getting go, to man. it, and then I got to rapping this shit. Got See, you know track. how that shit go, got man. Go Side Side things track. get to getting sidetracked, man. On, man. But this still the 85 South show that exactly. voted the number one black show amongst black people yeah, who grew up watching The Fresh Prince oh, of yeah. Bel-Air yeah. from yeah. episode yeah. one. You know what it is. Yeah, hard. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah. Award winner. Really? This show is is winning awards all across the country, man. Not only are we winning NAACP awards, we are the number one watch podcast in barbershops. Yeah. Who the owner owns the shop but still cut in the shop. Nah, real don't talk. No yeah, he the owner, but he be there. <laughs> he said he don't ain't no customers. Don't get no customers. <laughs> but I mean, it's his barbershop, though, so he still ain't got a good shit. <laughs> he be sitting in his chair like this. You know, LeBron ain't playing tonight. He might, he might, he might, he might, shit like he that. might get two old niggas coming out a week. Well, everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's it. He, don't, he do, he cut uh, oh, kids out real good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. He be busy when school be about to start back. He cut all the little six-year-old kids. Y'all all, they all know how to make them kids. They all got that old man. Yeah, they all exactly. got the same fade with a part in that bitch. Exactly. Little man man now. But we got a very special guest in the trap with us today. Real ghetto legend. Making hits. Already done put his name up there with all the greats, man. It's, that's how astronomical his work is, man. None other than Houston's own. Kurt Cobain. Let's oh, go. Yeah. Do, baby. Been knowing this nigga oh, for man. a long time, man. He's one of the first on my first season of Wildin' Out. I think you did the first episode. I mean, that shit. Yeah. I didn't know what was going on. Yeah, that man. Shit was, did was like, that shit. That shit was live as hell. Oh yeah. That's what's up. That's crazy. I forgot all about that shit. Yeah, you for, you see, you've been everywhere. That's crazy. You've been everywhere. Got about man. that. That's what's up. And they show you so much love out there in nah, in the whole real. state of Texas, man. And like you sure. said, that's one of them places where it's like, 
once you own out there, you can work for the rest of your life. Yep. So, man. So rappers don't go broke. They don't go oh, broke. I just want to be say that so they know. I think that's I think that should be the goal everywhere, man. Like mm -hmm. if you can get it like that, because then it doesn't matter about when you came out. It's when you came out, did you have an impact, and we embrace it. It's gonna that stay. Song, yeah. It's gonna stay. We yeah. can't throw away our art. You know. What yeah. Saying? It ain't like you get older and be like, uh -uh, nah. Right. Man, I, I told you that the couch is magical when you first sat down. Yeah. That they was going to have you perform the song at the <coughs> wedding. Somebody just texted nah, you and said, verbatim. Man, we need you to perform the shit at our wedding. Nah, she said she was on YouTube looking at a video. For some reason, she watching that video. And she was like, somebody in the comments said, you need to perform this at their wedding. Hell yeah. Wow. And you just said that shit. That I wasn't even that long ago. I seen some white people on TikTok playing that shit at a wedding and they was rapping it to each other. That shit hard. That's cold. That's the man. stuff you got to sit down and think like, I'm that's about that's how 15 you know trying to get to it. Married. Yeah. Uh -huh. If you find a motherfucker who want to rap a motherfucking song with you at the wedding. The oh, she, for sure. Yeah, you, that's who you at fucking least. get married to. So have people done, I'm assuming, man, because the song, big, I can't think off the top of my head, but I know you the best sample. And have people, have people, Nah, they be, like, sometimes... Oh, they do covers or something? They do covers, but ain't nobody, like... Nah, ain't nobody did that yet. Okay. I'm cool. Okay. You don't want that. I mean, it's gonna happen, but, like, you know what I'm saying? But as long as the paper's straight... Oh, right? the paper always gonna be straight. Okay, I ain't yeah. doing no tripping. Like, yeah. Okay, like, whatever okay. they do with it, I ain't tripping. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Me, I just be staying. Like, me, I ain't no sample. I'm gonna stay away from shit, you know what I'm saying? I feel you. Yeah. Why Damn. split the money? You said look at it like a business. Yeah, you create your own yeah. shit. You just create this, try to create the stuff that people gonna sample, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like the labels, they got everybody sampling right now. They got them in a blender. Yeah. Hey, bro, what was that moment for you where you felt like, okay, this what, not a work paying off. Like, this is some, I have exceeded my own expectations at this point, man. That moment that was just man. surreal to you where it hit you. When like, I was, man, I'm a star now. The BET Awards. Mm. I was on, I was doing, I think Meek had, yeah, Meek had brought me up there. And we had did a record, we had Young and Getting It. And I was on the stage, bro. I'm nervous the whole time. I, I'm shining like a motherfucker, though. Yeah. I'm on the stage and I'm like, it's like Khaled, her man. He's like, all oh, these niggas I grew up looking, listening to, like, they all in the front row, bro. And they all singing a song with my words. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With me. That shit was crazy. You know, that was crazy, bro. Like, you got everybody in the back, but you know the front. That's where, that's where the big dog is at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You seeing everybody, it's like, bro, to see everybody here, like, singing my song, it's like, like, they fans of me, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, that yeah. was a, that was a, that was a real, some real moment for me. Just to see that. Because, you know, when it's like that, you getting love everywhere. It's like, you just moving so fast, you doing so much shit, you know, you know what I'm saying? But that right there. I had to call my mama about that one. Then you got the whole hood watching, you got everybody watching, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. Even, even dope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was it for me. Whole BT award, bro. That shit'll <laughs> fuck you up. Yeah, yeah. You, you look fucking around like... and look up into Roger P. Henson and over there, but <laughs> singing your what? shit. Yeah, no. what's wrong? What's wrong with you, dog? You could, you got sight, you, you wild, dog. <laughs> That's what you saw. It wasn't her, but it was somebody like that I always wanted to talk to. I was sitting behind at the BT Woods, and I ended up getting her like after yeah. that. And I always had wanted to. And she had got on Twitter and said like, "Yeah, Kirk up behind me where I had got her." And I started fucking with her after that. And I'm like. You know something. Right, why you say that? Oh, now they gonna go I back see why and you like the BT Awards. Yeah. 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 You was going crazy. Nah, I was going crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, cause, I mean, because like, like, even like Cedric the Entertainer, he had got up on there and he was like, he was like talking to like people about going to school and all that. He was like, yeah, everybody can't be Kirk Cobain. So I'm like, oh, like what? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, me? Yeah. Like, everybody can't be me. You oh, know what I'm saying? Same night. All that was together, bro. Oh, this nigga here with living. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all that was together. All that shit was together. So Cedric said, nah, for real. I'm the coldest nigga. See him? For real. Caleb was rapping my song. It was just, it was there. All that was together. So your new album, Call Me KB. Yeah. But you get mentioned in a lot of rap songs, too. You do? That's crazy. Yeah, I, I don't know, it'd be weird to me because it's like, and it's cool, I appreciate it, but like a lot of people like put like a lit, like be like legend, 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 like even like the young kids, stuff like that. And I'd be like, do y'all say that to everybody? Or like what makes it like, what make me like, 
you know what I'm saying? I made records. Like, we all make records, you know what, right. what I'm saying? And I also be wanting, like, because, like, just on some humble shit, I'm still getting to it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still getting to the paper every day, all day, you know what I'm saying? So, like, a lot of people from my time, it ain't like that for them, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm just blessed and honored to be able to still be able to be rolling, you feel me? When I say legend, I think of the shit we gonna play forever. Nah, real talk. Like, That's if, it. if I'm ever at the cookout with them kids, mama, yeah. I don't give a fuck if I'm sick so and one they of... play drinking my cup. I'm grabbing her by the pussy. Yeah, hey, yeah, me and your mama <laughs> fucking tonight. That on the lid. Yeah, yeah. That's we, crazy to think about. You got like one of them eyes That's one of them records, songs you know that's going to make you dance real nasty in front of your grandkids. Nah. Forever. That's, that's crazy, bro. And talk yeah. about some memory. That's crazy. That's, that's, that's. She don't get no bigger than that for me, bro. That's what's up. Yeah. BET Awards, man. What year was that? You remember? Hell nah. Right on. You remember the year? He remember everything but the year. Never gonna remember. Black men don't keep up with time and days, man, months, and years. Man. Oh, Who over there was? Looking at for however long. Uh, yeah, that yeah. wasn't supposed to make time you remember the year. Nah, nah, fuck the year. When you having a night like that, <laughs> it's my you, year. <laughs> man, you can't lose. <laughs> nah, you know, shot your yeah. shot at whoever it's was over up. there. Anybody. Oh, man. What? Anybody. It's up. Anybody. She just, I just got Who on stage. Who the boat? And I'm gonna do another song after. Come on, man. It's back season. She don't even know I'm at the end, too. I'm coming back out. (laughs) (laughs) You think I'm not going back? Oh, she don't even know. She (laughs) don't even know. I got got back to back hits. I got to do the other one with her. Yeah. 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 I'm coming back out. You better be with me now. Why I got time over here? You're gonna go back. I come back. You ain't gonna even be here. I might not even be coming back. Cause after we perform the other shit, I'm just gonna stay back there with my friends and shit. Yeah, for real. <laughs> you want to come back here, so you need to act like you right. want to go when yeah. I go. Uh, we'll have a lot of time to discuss this. Nah, that shit crazy, uh, dog. Yeah. Linda, that shit dope. That's that. Pull you one. D one. Yeah. But well, congratulations, man. We need them Appreciate type of it. moments, man. Nah, for That's sure. That's the shit that make life enjoyable. The highlights. That's why we had to make this show, man. Nah, for sure, man. Yeah. It's one of the ones. This it's one of them one. ones. Yeah, for real. Man, that Houston is different, bro. I don't know if, if everybody's been to Houston, but it's... I love Houston. That motherfucker different, bro. I love Houston. It's even different for us, though, now. It's like, <clears throat> you go out, you meet... Anybody you meet, they not going to be from Houston. Oh. None of the girls ain't from Maybe Houston. Yeah. No more. A lot of people like to visit Houston. They ain't from Houston no more. They, they moving there. Oh, they yeah, moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, they moving there, bro. At alarming race. Like, bro, you never gonna go out and see the same girls twice. Like, like back. Like, you're gonna see different people every time, bro. It's crazy. Where all the Houston girls go? That's kind of like what happened. They there, do, like, but it's like, uh-huh. East Hope. Houston girls go to Atlanta. Man, it's like Instagram in real life. It is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, you can't imagine walking them streets. It's like, yeah. and it's and it's like, nice. in our hours of nonstop, every single day is going down every day, from six to six. Goddamn, you know what I'm saying? It's going down every day. It don't stop. Damn. For real. You know, I have fun when I go. Every time. I enjoy it. Oh. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's a good culture. Nah, it's up. You think you need something to believe in? <laughs> that motherfucker be hard to leave, bro. It's like you, may... they need my help. But I always... That's what a nigga be like. They need me down nah, there. Nah, I always tell my partners like, bro, I wonder what it feel like, like to coming, live somewhere else. To live somewhere else and come to Houston, bro. Well, we live in Atlanta. We we got it real good here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm knowing. Yeah, but coming from somewhere where you might not have the the it's depressing yeah. the amount. That's what yeah. I'm saying. That's you know what I'm saying. Like people leave Houston, it's surreal out there, bro. Until they get back, bro. Houston different, bro. For real. It's just that we don't got. See, y'all got the infrastructure for the entertainment, bro. We don't got that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all still got, we got a lot the of parties. Money. We got the clubs. Crazy ass laws down yeah. there. Yeah, we ain't got the infrastructure that y'all got out here to to push the culture. You know what I'm saying? And really take it. Yeah, y'all got the space, though. Yeah, we got the space. Mm-hmm. Y'all got the space. You can drive an hour and still be in that motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. Boy, I all didn't know that shit. Give a tax credit. Yeah, got the space. I ain't give it. Oh, that's too much sauce. I can't Come give on, it. Come on, dog. Yeah, we can't get political. Then, then you know y'all be up in there. Yeah. That's all it takes. Mm-hmm. Got to get something going. We working on it, though. Nah, for real. Got to. fucks with it. I think it's a great place to visit. Be careful and respectful. 
<laughs> and, uh, you know. Yeah. It's a wild place, man. Make sure you go outside and get some Visine. And make sure your eyes is ready to see the things that Houston has to offer. Just walking around. That's crazy. Being in Houston. Wrong. Yeah, absolutely. Very one of them outside type places. Bro. Good fool. Yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. You should get it right, bro. Yeah. Good fool. Yeah, very party atmosphere. Oh, yeah, no. Nah, everywhere party. got a patio. Everywhere party. Everywhere yeah. party. You ain't gonna miss that. That ain't gonna miss you. Like, you ever be riding somewhere in Houston and then you see some shit that look like it's gonna be more fun than where you was going? All the time. Man, fuck this. <laughs> but you gotta stick with your itinerary, though. <laughs> these niggas have a pool in the front. <laughs> hey, man. You gotta stick with what you're doing in there. You gotta stick to where you're yeah. supposed to be going. You gotta stick to it. One of the best day parties I ever been to in my life was at Houston. Where you were there? I don't even remember the place that it was. We got there early. That's I took my dad. Oh yeah, but you then can do that, that shit had got too wild. I was like, we gotta get him out of here. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Because it's like it was I, wherever the place was. It was whatever, like inside, uh, outside. And then it had a fucking pool. And I'm like, this is black people shit. Ain't nobody getting in the pool. And I was right at first. And then, like, a whole nother group of bad bitches showed up and started getting in the pool. And I was like, he ain't gonna be able to stand in this. I gotta get him the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> nah, he ain't gonna be able to. He said, son. I was like, hold on. My pops in there, like, son, you see this shit? They getting in the pool, man. I'm like, man, hey, stop, bro. You're not getting in the fucking pool. Because he was gonna take that shit. Man, that nigga would have jumped in there with drugs. On, man. I know he would have. I know he would have, bro. I know my pop, he would have did that shit. He would have jumped in the draw first. Yeah, man. Hell no. That nigga crazy. crazy like That's that. That's funny as it. Yeah, but we had a ball out there. That's funny. That real, though. To a pool you know, party. You gonna do that shit. That's crazy they got in the pool. They did. But it was like, it wasn't, I guess they had the shit timed out or whatever. Cause it was like it was some fine women there already. They had like pool shit on, but then none of them get in the pool. Yeah, nah, it's gonna be and like then that. Then they had some more that showed up, and they were like some freaky ass hood divers or some shit. <laughs> hood divers, and, cause they was all about being in the water and shit. Not the, not the pool party that went viral, and then this was this was a couple years ago. Yo, you went at that one? They had one that went, he know the one that in Houston that they went, they was doing every goddamn thing in there. They was wild. <laughs> in the pool. At the pool party. Nah, they was outside the pool. Oh, no, wasn't nobody in the pool, they was outside. Oh, they was acting a goddamn fool out there. All the shit you ever heard in a rap song, they was doing it. That shit wild. Oh, freaky. They fucking. Yeah. At the pool party. Yeah. See, y'all got freaky pool parties like that? Can anyone just went, turn it It wasn't supposed to be that. <laughs> it went bust to be the head. It just went there. So this shit don't happen often then. It just Ooh. Oh, it's gonna happen, but it's like the fact that it was documented. Yeah, like, don't go down there and pull your dick yeah. out so easy to get in the door. Hey, hey, I got it! No. Hey, kind of how that shit was on that video. Why you playing? That's the person that was going there like this. Okay, they want my dick in my head. Maybe we will fuck your ass. Did you make it out to Bun B Rodeo? Nah, I ain't make it to Bun. I think I had a show that day, but I made it to, I had 50 Cent out there. I went to his shit. That shit was loud too, but I ain't make it to Bun shit. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. 50 Cent, they just bought some spots yeah, out there. Yeah, nigga buying up all kind of shit about that. He got a studio. He got a lounge in there, the Rocket Stadium, all that. He doing his thing. Oh, he fuck with Houston like yeah. that. That's why I said the, the infrastructure coming. You know what I'm saying? It's Wait, gonna get that. He already off. doing. He doing some. He okay, supposed to be bringing some film, film company shit out there, yeah. something like that. He got some shit with the Rockets and all that. So you know, you start seeing more people get more business things out there on the rap side, and you know it's coming. Even like a lot of stuff that Bun doing. You know what I'm saying? Like with the Trillberg, with the Rody, all that. You know, like okay, and shit, this shit, this shit coming. You know what I'm saying? Man, that shit always be funny when rappers pivot because they be having passion for shit you never knew. Nah, they had. we show. Passion, food. Nah, so what you sure. doing, man? Well, you know, I just been doing these birthday cakes, man. man. <laughs> hey, <bro. laughs> Who knew all these rappers was cooking like this? Nah, they be cooking like a motherfucker. Hey, niggas really be cooking. 
Goddamn tree dance cook everything. I know little uh, Lil Kiki used to cook. Lil Kiki and Pokey was cooking against each other on live. Lil Kiki and Pokey recipes, Big Pokey. They was cooking on live. They used to be cooking, having little cook-offs on live yeah. and stuff like that. That's crazy. But that's cool. I, I, that's dope, bro. Rappers be hitting all kind of shit. B-Boy cook crazy. Yeah, gold is going spoon. crazy. B-Boy, B-Boy cook like fuck, dude. Yeah, B-Boy be having them big-ass lots of tails on the B-Boy yeah, B-Boy the uh, first one of them dogs. And he got owls. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he the nigga got owls, animals, bro. Yeah, he got yeah. several. Well, like, he got that's crazy. Like, three he got four owls. Four they done brought the chow back, too. He was on dogs, like, way back then. He got the dogs now, but he brought the chow back. Remember the chow? The mean that dog back in the day. The little fluffy one, the little fluffy one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He used to bite everybody? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, my aunt, my auntie had one of them. For sure. Oh, yeah, he only had he one brought the and they was, I think, bad or something like that. Like, yeah, he, he got childs, like puppies and different colors. Yeah, nah, he been. He been that dog gang on crazy. I got too many people I love around me. They tongues was black. Black, okay. Yeah, they black, they all black. Yeah, call him Bear. That'd be the name for the motherfucker. I just said that was my auntie dog named Bear. That was the name for the dog. It was black. And they was Bell. Boy, them little motherfuckers out, Had a black tongue and everything. Bell or whatever black ass name people call. Them little king. And you know if it's a woman shit or some shit. No, some mean ass dog, boy. Mm-hmm. Get bit. I don't even know how y'all get that shit out of here. Y'all brought that up. I'm talking about Big Boy. Oh, yeah. Cook. Hey, that was Pivot. Oh, but he got the, what you call it, too? He got the... The best dogs I ever had was Mutt's. Just dogs with two random parents. You know the what trailers the for movies. This big boy got that well, shit. Well, you motherfucker ask, like, what kind of dog is that? You be like, I don't know, just a dog. Like, <laughs> can't just be a dog, huh? Just a dog. That's the one that lasts the longest. Yeah, them the dogs yeah, that be yeah, the yeah. most resilient. Hey, them bitches be outside. <laughs> <laughs> they be raining outside. They and all. <laughs> you don't even know the dog. That's yeah, true. <laughs> they resilient as fuck. Man, we had a dog it's like that that got hit by a car, <laughs> laid there for 20 minutes and got up. Oh, nah, can't fuck this up. I got a good situation. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm nah, laid out in the garage, but I, I ain't dead. They're they going to go through some shit. Yeah. Them dogs Hell, losing hand and everything. You have outside, you don't even know them bitches get pregnant. <laughs> you just outside chilling one day and just, there yeah, them titties on drop. Mm-hmm. She pregnant. She out of there. Bitch be gone for a week and come back. Right. Puppies. She finna have some puppies. Yeah. Ain't no, hell no goddamn dog. You never had a dog? God. Never had a dog, bro. My daddy didn't allow pets. You know, you know how my daddy is. Yeah. This nigga grew up with a mean ass dad. Oh, military. You no kind of pet, huh? Nothing. A military style. <laughs> he couldn't That's have a, no. That nigga Nothing. couldn't have a, a rap. He couldn't have a fish. Or hey, nothing. that nigga was gonna settle for something too, man. Let me Bro. get a. Can I get a goldfish? Bro. No. My first grade yeah. teacher. My first grade teacher gave me a turtle. He made me take that bitch. Nah, I didn't. Yeah, nah. I swear to God on my mama. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. no. You get that fucking turtle? Like this? <laughs> yeah. Cry like a motherfucker. Nigga, we have some shit in my house, eating up shit, not paying yeah. no goddamn rent. Stank like a motherfucker. Well, Hey, when I say don't nobody in my house lay around and don't do shit. <laughs> hey, you ain't moving fast enough for me, son. Take nah, it back. Really, really. <laughs> I said clean up your cage. This nigga started moving slow. My dad was one of them, bro. One no pet. Damn. He said he had no dog, no pet. He had the brand of turtle back. Yeah, it took <laughs> It wasn't no none of that. We couldn't do none of that shit, bro. He, he. Changed when my little brother came and he started letting my little brother like join recreation and shit like that. That's why I don't really fuck with That'd sports and shit like that. Like my little brother came, he let him do it. But when I'm, you know, I'm growing up, you can't. Oh, I ain't joining shit like that. I remember one time. No. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Get that shit off your cheek. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Hell no. Hell no. I remember one time I asked my daddy, "Can I join Boy Scout?" He like to kick my ass. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Cause I was like, God damn, let me join. So, damn. I had my dad, can I join Boy Scout? He looked at me from the fucking ground to, <laughs> to the sky. Turned his head back and started looking at Andy Griffin and said, Just get the fuck on with <laughs> Come here, this boy ass me. Fucked up. Hey, man, that's Bro. fucked up, dog. So I just, you know what what you said? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't nothing, bro. You know, I can't tell you why he ain't want me to fuck with Boy Scouts on camera, but, well, you know, he, he, he wasn't fucking with He was right. Yeah, that Boy Scout shit fucked up. Yeah, he was right. Yeah, he didn't want me fucking with Yeah. Yeah, you might not have knew. You thought it was just camping. What <laughs> kid? <laughs> <laughs> so, Man, they go camping? So, you know she. They get badges? My dad Boy, if you don't bullshit. get the fuck away from this shit. My dad ain't <laughs> bullshit, boy. He knew something. My it don't matter what you say to a black parent, they gonna flip that shit back on your head. 
Can that be a boy scout? Boy, I'm gonna scout your ass and you don't get the fuck out of here. You wanna scout boys? That's what you wanna do. <laughs> you like the scout boy. You hear that? Nigga, boy, my dad's oh, been bullshit. Flip boy. it. That's yeah, crazy. Hell yeah, that nigga, that boy. And he don't remember none of this shit now. Yeah, he do. He yeah, remember he all this shit. He do. like he don't. He might not. Yeah, like I'm, I do. I remember everything. Nigga ain't gonna forget none of that shit. I remember everything, goddammit. Oh, That's shit. Real. Man, what took you so long to make it through the trap, bro? You supposed to been came through here. Man, you know. I've been waiting. I've been wanting to get to this motherfucker. I told you, little bro, little bro put me on, goddamn. Yeah. I've been wrong. We had came up here. We had did uh, four mines and shit. That's why I ran them, bro. Locked this shit in. I had to wait for y'all schedule, so I had to wait like three months to get up in here. Oh, man, we've been on tour and Nah, but y'all already know. I already know. good shit all across the country. Once they gave me that date, it's locked. Uh, I'm not, I'm gonna be here for sure. That's what I came out here for, just, just to fuck with y'all. How was, how was your experience on poor man? Lex, well, you know, Lex, that's my homie, so, you know yeah. what I'm saying? She, all the stuff I'm talking about, she witnessed all that. Like, she was in college, them colleges that, you know what I'm saying, when I first started and all that, so. Okay. It's crazy. Like, I be telling her, like, man, just to see you do that, bro, that shit inspirational, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Taking it to a whole nother level, bro. So, that, that, that shit was cool to tell both of them. Her and Andre, that was cool. Lex has a lot of little dirt on the nigga and shit, though. Oh, you know what shit. Saying? Oh, yeah, man. she gonna get she that. She had you on there confessing and shit. Ah. Uh, she know you. Yeah, she know me. Yeah, had no dirt on her? Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, you should. Uh, all you gotta do is oh, 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 nah. <laughs> I fought them little girls in the like comments was mad. They said, ooh, he acting nasty to his leg. Oh, shut your oh, ass up, man. man. Oh, <laughs> That's man. my partner, man. Damn, that's <laughs> you know how they be. Oh, my God. What? Yeah. We was going yeah, in on there. Yeah, nah, for sure. Yeah, nah, because she had, uh, one time I had this record, and uh, I had never played the song for nobody. You know, I threw a bowling party, and I played the song, and Lex knew all the words. I was like, how the fuck you know the words? Like, how you know all the words? But she was cool with somebody that I knew. And I was trying to get out of her. Like, who had who had leaked my song and gave it to her when she know the word, you know what I'm saying? And so she was telling that whole story. Like, I got mad, I kicked out, and all that type of shit. That's what she was saying. But I don't remember the kicking out part. But I do remember her knowing the words of my song before that whole came out. You was on that liquor. You what? Know how the fuck For real? Get that song. <laughs> Straight up. Hey. No, no, don't nobody say shit. <laughs> nah. She was like, you wouldn't get off of me. I was like, yeah, I'm sorry, man. It's sensitive, Somebody man. Somebody pillow talking around this motherfucker. And <laughs> gave I it a whole. I wanna know who it is. Nigga ain't just play it, boy. He gave it to her. Right. She just know the words. Right. Like, right. he just gave it to her. Like, that means she playing it. Yeah. Like, it's in rotation. He got it. He just gave it to her, sent it to her, put it on whatever. Yeah, oh, you know if a nigga do that, oh man, I gotta get he put me on the platter like he just like put bro. I gotta, I gotta get his ass <laughs> out of here, bro. Here, bro. She wouldn't tell me who though. I'm gonna get some pussy. With you this feel nigga me? song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga be on drop. That song. Project. That that song was done at grandma's house. Yeah. That one too. Another. Uh, you was in your bed. Another. Do it before or after drinking my. This is after. It's another oh, song called Rain Down. I oh, did. Oh, okay. I had, uh, yeah. He well, you was in your bag. That was you grandma's house. Grandma. Grandma. Whenever you house. Real yeah, talk. Yeah. She still Real talk, it. yeah. But, That'd be crazy, huh, right? Especially after this year. Yeah, yeah. Grandma, yeah. you go just chill back down for a couple of days. Mm-hmm. Nah, real oh. talk. That's where the energy is. How many did you record, though? At grandma's house? Yeah. A lot. That, that, well, that you put out? Like, everything at that time. Oh, for real? Yeah. Out. Dope. Yeah, every yeah, you either gotta go back over there or fucking set your shit up just like you like had grandma it over house. There. You might need to start sitting back on the bed. Nah, yeah. for real. She nah, got I believe in energy. You just go back over there and just ugh. Nah, for real though. Yeah. Hey, grandma, house. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. <laughs> Tell her fry some more that you got Look at it, chicken. I knew if I started it. <laughs> nah, fry some more that you got chicken. She used to cook in there. Them nah, same cups over there. Shout out my boy Pyro, man. House. It don't change. Sound the mine, same bro. glasses, the Everything same little Charlie out. Brown cup yeah. and shit that you was drinking. The same bed spread you was sitting on. The same bed. Yeah. We busting down, we, we busting down a piece in that You might have fucked around and left some shit over there. The same nah. computer set up, bro. I still got everything. Mm-hmm. Nah, for real, though. Hey, grandma. Hell yeah. We all need a grandma's house, bro. I hope this shit turned into that. Nah, it is. This, this division. Ain't no grandma, but it, it, it got no, that somebody vibe. Grand, well, I'm going to get Basically. somebody grandma to come in here and bless it. Wherever, wherever grandma let you smoke at. Yeah, this is what this is. Now they will, probably. 
Nowadays. Nah, my homeboy had one. Like, we burned that motherfucker down. I was like, I used to feel bad. We're going to get now. somebody, grandma, to come in here and bless it, though. If you're a grandma and you're around in the area and you're going to come through and make the spot feel like home, get at me. We're going we're gonna to have us a grandma contest. We're going to adopt us two or three grandmas for you. the whole 85 South production because I feel like... Uh, you real with that grandma, huh? Yeah, we, we at that age where we just... We done lost most of our it's, grandmas and we ready to, we don't feel like we real. should have to continue life without a grandma if there are perfectly good grandmas out here. Nah, right. really, I, I'm a grandma's boy. Me too. I love my grandma. She's really strong. My grandma gone. I'm not grandma. having nah, a fucking grandma. My grandma gone hey, too. So I feel when you said that, I feel that. Yeah, but yeah, look, just get a new one. Hey, the combine the two. Grandma, bro. Come on. It's a place in Houston. If you're trying to push this, you're going to run into problems. I'm telling you. Nah, Somebody going to tell you, hey, bro, take my grandma back. Now, look, you own something with that grandma's house, bro. It's a place in Houston called a door. You ever heard of a door? No. It's lit, like super lit. Inside, outside, crazy. Uh, uh, that's uh, good fellas, good fellas shit, man. So they call it grandma's house though, like this, like, a, and they be playing spades in there and everything, bro. Dominoes wow. and everything, that motherfucker, bro. That's hard. Granny's house, something like that. It's a vibe though. That's what's up. So yeah. for you to say that, you know what I'm saying? Like that, 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 that name, bro. You know, and bring yeah. that. It's, just a, it's comfortable. Yeah, I'm, I'm pushing the agenda. He know. I've been I've saying. Been it. saying it. And I feel like at this Adopting point, if I'm gonna adopt a grandma, I can have as many grandmas as I want to. So <laughs> nah, that way, sure. I will never not have one. Nah, you I need really that, need need that love, though, man. In, in like talk. 15 different states. Yeah. Yeah. Need that love for sure. I want one of them grandmas with the trouble. tennis like Big Mo. He just said, he going, he got, I, I want one of my grandmas to have the tennis like, like, yeah, like Big Mama had the tennis on that suit. Like I want love, a grandma buddy. with the, that could play piano and shit. It's 12 in the morning, in the, at night, and you got these six old ladies out. Man, no, no. Falling asleep on these other shit. Don't so poop. what? Go ahead. You did drink a whole bunch of water. Nah, bro, anyway. You gotta go all the way around. I mean, shit. In his show, in his episodes. Mm-hmm. And now a word from our sponsor. Man. Hold on. These right here. <laughs> Guatemala right? Satin Backwoods. Guatemala Satin. Guatemala Satin. What? Backwood been showing their ass lately, bro. They just, what's the other one? Connecticut Special. Okay. All right. You forgot about the two wraps, bro. And the true reps. No, they just they these just, exclusive. They, they, it's a world tour. Guatemala, Connecticut, and then what that? These reps. Big league chill. These reps. It's backwood uh, <laughs> fruit strips. <laughs> it's no, no guts. Backwood fruit snap. You just pull them out and roll up. Pull them out and roll up. Oh yeah. Okay. They like fruit roll up backwood. Most definitely. Leaf flavor. Absolutely. I like it though. It yeah, I see you been over there. You didn't want to fuck with that when you said it was some glitter on it. Yeah. It, it, it. If you ain't got no weed, don't, I need. Don't I have questions. Those. That's the only question. Ain't no I glitter have. on the shit though. But I don't know what it is. It ain't glitter. It's, it's fine shimmery. To, it's fine tobacco. Fine tobacco. It's fine tobacco. Okay. Shout out to Backwood. I love me. Man, have y'all been seeing all the crazy shit happening in the world since the eclipse? No, I haven't. Oh, okay. The clues was just yesterday, right? I know. What did you saw happen? I don't did you look up at it? I didn't even see it. I didn't know you had to have You didn't look at it? No, no right. it just it was just dark in my area, so I figured that was enough eclipse for me. I ain't gonna look up there and fuck my eyes. I felt like the sun was squinting <clears> at me. Yeah. The whole what, day. what was that supposed to be? The sun and the moon? The moon. Get in front of the sun. Oh, and, and oh, okay. They just but you can only see it in certain places in totality. <clears throat> I don't believe that either. I, was you don't believe I, believe, I don't believe the shit really happened. That was their way of trying to convince us that the moon and the sun ain't the same shit. The moon ain't the sun? I don't know. I don't think it is. When you look up at the sun, don't that bitch be bright? Huh? When you look up at the sun, don't that bitch be bright? Then when you look up at the moon, don't that shit be bright too? But how come they both so be out at the same time sometimes? You ain't never seen that? You ain't never seen the moon out when the sun out? Oh no. I have. Oh no. Did you was it really that or was it like a reflection or some shit? It could have been that they was the sun was turning around. Maybe the sun is, is the moon 
The moon just the sun on the other side. Yeah, I'm high. This nigga when I get to ask a hypothetical oh, questions and shit. the moon is the sun's ass. <laughs> yeah. <Damn. laughs> I'm just saying, maybe not his ass, but it's... Hey, I'm tired of y'all, nigga. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. That make more sense than it not being that. I don't know, man. The moon, I don't know. They said the moon made out of uh, something, but it ain't rocks. <laughs> they say that bitch will ring if you hit it hard enough. The sun, the moon will? And they say it's got little structures on it. Little structures? Yeah, right degree angles. Anytime you got right degree angles, that don't happen in, in nature. Oh, somebody did it. 90 degrees. Oh, maybe it is the sun. Can't nobody get close to the sun, though. They say. Ain't nobody got close to the moon? On that side. I believe that, though, because the sun be hot from wherever the fuck it's at. <laughs> I don't even want to touch it from the back. Even if it just stays temperature right here, when it's the summer, even if it just stays at 99 or whatever the fuck, I don't, I'm not getting on that, bro. So let me ask you this. Can it be hot and the sun not be out? If the sun not out, can it be like on a summer day and the sun not out? It's like it was about to rain. Yeah. It's humid. Houston? Yeah. Summertime, humidity. Oh Sometimes the sun ain't out and it's yeah, still it's hot. Humid. Yeah, it's it's humid. Yeah, sticky than the mother. And Houston is sticky than the motherfucker at nighttime. The sun ain't out. It's hot at night. It's humid as fuck. Yeah, sometimes. It's so hot. Hot yeah. than a bitch. Don't do that. But it was hot because of the sun. Oh, you saying the moon hot now. Oh, man. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, nigga got us with that shit. Go, <laughs> <laughs> go. Oh, man. Now, you see hot. how you make sense? You don't even have to say shit? No. Hot now. OK. All right. <laughs> Who's to say that it's night? Because we did the just moon establish in the leftover shit. That the sun yeah. being okay. out ain't got shit to do with the so, chill. Yeah, hot. So the right. moon just lukewarm. Sun is what you're saying. But you can feel that sun heat. That's what I'm saying. I said I don't want to touch it. You can it. feel heat even when the sun's not out. I'm talking about when the sun's on you. You know, that's why shade is different. <laughs> shade is different, my now nigga. Now you talking about shade, my nigga. Because if it directly hits you, uh -huh. you're going to feel it different. So you have to put on sunscreen. You don't put on moon screen. Or do you? Bring go to hell. So where are you getting at? <laughs> right. Right. Before you get it. Maybe the people who make that shit already know that the moon is so the sun. So they didn't make sense. Exactly. It's out together. I'm coming back. It's out together. <laughs> this motherfucker's stupid. <laughs> Why well, gotta be stupid? Bro. <laughs> No, that shit crazy. Well, now you think about the shit, see? You don't even want to say it. Uh, I, I, I be thinking, so like, you don't know nothing about none of that shit, man. That shit. I'm folks, just saying. Them folks sometimes I just like to just ask questions to see if yeah, we can really establish real. anything. Maybe that shit is the same, though. It could just be the other side. And you don't never have no theories about shit like this? They just flip them around. Because just like you said, it can be hot at night, even when the sun not out. So what happened with the eclipse, though? Do you think you got the answer? Maybe that's just the, the process of, of the shit actually turning around. Oh, shit. Man, hell no, I still always like it up. Okay. So the best we can do is that. Oh, so you said that was a back? So they just, and so at some point, the sun and the moon is doing How that shit happen? But they end up at the same place every day, every night. All right, so you're telling me at one, only <laughs> oh one God. day out the, out the year for out seven all these years. they just magically cross across each other. Okay. Out of all these years. All right, bet. <clears throat> yeah, thank you. Like, what make them cross paths now? Yeah, they just cross paths every and they do so the, And they do the same. They take the same route every day. Exactly. But they gonna be telling us on these hoes. I know, fuck it. They didn't smoke what I smoked, <laughs> yeah. So they don't understand nah, how I'm understanding. Really I'm almost understanding what he's saying because I hear no, I'm understanding the question. I'm they, not they even saying that I'm right. I'm just saying, what if that is a possibility? That's what I'm saying. How I'm they doing the same thing every day, never running into each other, not running into you now? Because of what So the sun come up on this side, the moon come up on this side? No, it don't. It's like, they going the in, it's like they're going you in opposite directions. You look up and see the sun all fucking day. Then you look up at night and the fucking moon is, all right, whatever. Why is the moon so bright then? She, she's... 
she he, mean, he asked me. I know Clayton did, but she meant to ask you this I have. Well, yeah. we all have. And, and, and uh-oh, and Clay just walked back in. What? She asked him the same question you did. Has he not seen the moon uh, and the sun at the same time? Yeah. See? The crazy part is, I don't even recall if I have or not. I'm probably, sh I'm sure that I have. I want, yeah. You don't even be looking about. at the moon for you to know all that shit about it. That's what I'm talking about. I, I be questioning <laughs> the clouds, man. <laughs> clouds be throwing me out. All right, well, let me ask you this then. Is moonlight and sunlight the same shit? No. Yeah, because the sun reflecting off the moon is what they tell you. <laughs> But like, what? Gonna you, he gonna tell you it's, it's the sun's age. No. They said it's the same way. No, <laughs> so no, no, no. Light no. burning on the other side of the moon. You see this? The sun lights the day. Oh, the moon does not light the night. Not that that's what they do mm -hmm. say. Like, mm -hmm. it, it does not light up the night. Like, you can see it, but it, it doesn't make the night bright. Like, mm -hmm. the sun makes the day bright. How's the sun reflecting out the moon creating moonlight, though? What the sun is? I don't know what they say. Well, that whole dark way can reflect anything from if it's the gone. Maybe if I hit this motherfucker again, I'll be able to answer that. Yeah. And, hey, man, your people are you. fucked up, bro. That nigga always fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to come. I said, come on, hit the Addy. He looks like he wearing a disguise. <laughs> I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I've been wanting to tell you to look up over there. <laughs> he looks like he know all the good drugs. You remember nah, Like they had dreads go together. Uh, Jim Carrey. Put them up at the same time. Fun with Dick and Jane when they went to rob the bank. They had the disguise on. Joe, <laughs> 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 right up into a goddamn. Hey, you ain't you fake on the phone, man. <laughs> <laughs> God. Your neck was fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> he was leaning like he didn't shot heroin. <laughs> hey, both on the pump. Now how they find Chris Tucker and dead president. <laughs> Look, and they just, these motherfuckers over there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they both grabbed their phones, bro. Mm. Mm. How the fuck, uh, how the fuck they heard that shit and both grabbed their phones, bro? That's the sun and the moon. Oh, shit. I was texting, boy. Duh. Duh. Oh, I was shit. thinking about what I was writing. Duh, what the fuck, bro? Yeah, we still up here, man. <laughs> hey, Hello. bro. Yeah, yeah, they ain't asking nigga nothing about starships and rockets. <laughs> duh, what the fuck? Oh, this shit, shit the was sun funny, the moon, the same shit. That should have stayed in the car, man. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Oh, shit. Duh. This nigga said that nigga like he got a disguise on. And <laughs> 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 hey, both of them niggas looked up. Shit. Oh, shit. Duh. Oh, Get shit. Get back on Facebook. Oh, shit. <laughs> Duh. Man. We'll play with a little of that slump. Bro. Brother was damn down this year. One of his ass cheeks that already. <laughs> you in a blue? <laughs> oh, you Nick see. Lucy. Bro. Bro. That nigga had a neck like a newborn baby. <laughs> <laughs> All that like good thing was Bro. fix that baby neck. <laughs> oh, shit. Nah. Nigga. Them niggas over there, over there, out of there. Slump. I'm you, nigga, if I nigga, had nigga. been seen, I'd been by looking at these niggas. Man. Bro, your friends, man. Like, Check on your friends. This nigga still ain't forget his head up. Strap him in, goddammit. He still ain't forget his head up. Strap him in over there, boy. He's like, when they go stop. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Bro. I'm talking about that nigga said, that nigga looks like a disguise. That nigga said. Boy, that motherfucker was fucked up over there. I'm telling you, you don't, you gotta be, you gotta be high as a That nigga heard you, though. That's the crazy thing, they heard you. They energy. Then both of them niggas got on their phones. How you be aware and knock the fuck out at the same time? That nigga said, shit, they ain't talking about me. That must be your cousin right there. That nigga got sandals on with some socks. Who? That's your cousin. Man, watch out, dog. That nigga got it. 
You ain't got to be your cousin. There ain't no Why way you got to be my cousin? Ain't no way you would just let a nigga be working for you wearing socks and sandals to work. And nigga nah, got to be that's feminine. That's in the contract. Yeah, it's got to be feminine. Nah. You ain't related to this nigga? Nah. Don't, don't do your people like that. that. My don't bring boy. Nah, nah, nah. Don't bring nah. them all the way to Georgia and they act like you don't know them. Nah, they from the A, man. They my nigga from the A. Yeah. They, they from Atlanta. Yeah. Don't try to do that shit. They, you know, they, you they, they, from, they from Atlanta. My nigga man, from the That nigga from Houston, man. Shut up. Nah, man. My Houston nigga right hey, there. Still coming to Atlanta the Atlanta over there. I put it all together. Still coming to the eighth wheel next week. Yeah, I know. Like, cool crazy. with the stomach. With the That nigga here. Man, fuck that. I got some white hoes meeting up with after this. <laughs> <laughs> Why you sitting? The niggas that ain't big this year. if you wear sandals, you like white women. They going to the government. And a nigga who wears sandals prefers white women. Oh, Is it because shit. of the sandals or just sandals? Because black women ain't finna let you wear no fucking sandals, my nigga. You just not wearing sandals. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, why are you just why comfortable? Why are you fucking with my man, dog? You too comfortable, bro. You scared the oh, hoes me in this couple. <laughs> Black women don't want a nigga that comfortable where you outside with sandals on. Hey. You don't even wear sandals in the yard. <coughs> you can't stand on business wearing no fucking sandals, my nigga. Nah. You wear them on, on vacation? Huh? They allow you to wear them on vacation? Absolutely. You gotta get the flip off. Bro, only once you at a grandfather's age, you have to have grandchildren to wear sandals and uh -huh. Yeah, yeah you be uncle, uncle, barbecuing and shit. They be putting them sandals on. Even uncle got kids. Yeah. Uncle, yeah. Got, uncle yeah. tell you, I got seven kids, man. But he ain't telling you about the other nine that he stopped fucking with. <laughs> nah, what's wrong with you, dog? Because you know uncles be having three, four families, man. They have a set of kids. Yeah, and they I don't talk to this shit. Well, maybe not your uncle. Yeah, my daddy do that shit. For real? Yeah, man. Is it a bunch of y'all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. You know what Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. My daddy got like, nigga, that nigga act like he got like seven, but nigga probably got like 10 or something like that. Oh, he 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 playing. He say seven, but probably 10. Yeah. Yeah. He just, when we was kids, he always just pop up. We just always have a new brother and sister. Like, so it's a seven and three. He be knowing the whole time. He ain't gonna tell the truth. What if he see this shit and be like, why the fuck you go on there and tell them? He ain't gonna say nothing. He gonna probably repost it. He that type of nigga. Ooh, nigga. He a wild nigga. He don't give a fuck. He's gonna be talking <laughs> shit talking in the me. comments. They talking Actually, about me. Motherfucker, I got 15. Nah. He gonna be like, this you know part right here, this one, they, they talking about me right here, this my part. <laughs> they talking about me. My son bring me up every time he do an interview. Type shit. He love his daddy. Hey, look, I love all my kids. I take care of everybody. He ain't shit. Look at him. Look at my brother. Talking about that. Now, son, why, why would you go on there and tell them folks I got that many kids? Man, that nigga know. And they got the kids, man. How did the family, since you got a lot of brothers and sisters, man, how did they respond to the success and shit like that? Uh, they be showing love. They just be, you know, proud. You know, so I ain't never had, one thing I say about my family, I ain't never had no family problems with somebody like, even like asking for shit. They, never, they ain't never really asking nigga for nothing, nothing that when they could have, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hip out, you know, when I can and here and there and all that, but like, they ain't yeah, never cool. just been like, on a nigga about no money and nothing like that. Yeah. Even people that didn't have, you know what I'm saying? They still, they just, they make sure you come to the parties and when you can and family reunions and stuff like that, come to the get togethers at the house and shit like that. And that's all. Yeah. It's always been like that. Good <coughs> shit, man. You gotta have that support system. Yeah, yeah. I got too many brothers and sisters, though. Like, my stepdad, he raised me, too. That nigga got like 20. He do? Hell yeah. So you so put all them niggas together. So, hold on, your stepdad got like 20 kids? For real. Shit. And then your real daddy got like 10? Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Hell. I ain't lying. <clears throat> you better be glad they ain't started. That's a lot so of So, I be looking, every time you be talking to chicks, you be like, this is my brother, this is my brother, this is my brother. They be like, man, how many fucking brothers you got? Ain't, they ain't everybody my brother, though. You know all 20 of his? Nah, I stopped. I stopped, like, uh... <laughs> These niggas, they like, what, 22, 23, 24, somewhere around there? They was babies when I stopped. I was like, nah, I can't keep up. It's too many, bro. Right. Niggas just be coming up. I be having little niggas. Niggas be DM me, hey, you my brother. <laughs> like, Damn. I mean, shit. You know what I'm saying? That That's shit. crazy, bro. Nah, I don't even like real. pussy that much to make 20 people. How you just keep doing that shit? 20 fucking people. <laughs>
Ain't no way. I don't like people that wish no to make 20 you, in a month. Man, ain't no fucking way. Because at some point, you just be like, man, it feel like every time I get some pussy, this is crazy. I feel like, them niggas, I feel like them niggas back in the day, bro. Them niggas ain't killed. I'm almost <laughs> fighting at least. I feel like them niggas ain't killed back in the day. Them niggas ain't killed, dog. I'm telling you, pussy they, they had to be better. They they the kids. It ain't even no pussy out here that you would want. the kids, it was a goal in that shit somewhere. Nah, bro. You know what? I'm gonna see what I can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something wrong, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. back in the gap, them boys ain't killed, man. Boy, them niggas just fucking. Well, they made some cold niggas. Nah, for sure. We came out of that. Yeah. Not 20. That whole though. shit. 20. I'm not, that was right. That was our grandma and them and from the 20 kids era. That's, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Hell no. Nah, bro, yeah, gotta it, run some more, but. It's old women back then. They had 12, 13 kids and, and still had two, three miscarriages. Like, they won't. They didn't give a fuck, baby. Yeah, having 12 big, as a woman is crazy. Yeah, they was eating real food, too, though. So they, they probably made you fuck them. No, they, they raised they meat. They grew their goddamn vegetables. Yeah, that bread probably make you fuck a little different. Some was different. You got yeah. damn right. You said, <laughs> yep. Crazy. But them niggas just leaving in. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Say what? They was just, they, they ain't the fucking part. It's the part of like <laughs> creating a person that you wildin'. Right. A and then the way that they did the shit, it'd be like 20 kids in a three bedroom house. Like, how y'all do that? <laughs> Twitch, you know, your granddad. Twitch. Nigga, me and my sister, me and my sister, we the same motherfucking age. You got different mamas. Like how me and my brother is. We two weeks apart. Damn. Yeah, we just yeah. used to tell them we were twins to keep them out of our business in school. Y'all damn near was. Yeah, they call it, what they got, ghetto twins and shit. Yeah, y'all definitely ghetto twins. He yeah, October mm -hmm. 14th on November 8th. Nah, that shit, they're crazy. <clears throat> them niggas, I don't know how you hiding that shit. We went on social media, though. Yeah, that shit back then, you can, you can get rid of some shit. But you know, in the old days, your granddaddy wasn't going to put no rubber on you. Shit. And tell your grandma ass up, both of them lay down and get up and do the same shit tomorrow. Hey man, it's a lot of dope music coming out of Texas these days. Man. Nah, for sure. Hell yeah, yeah. Man, you, you catching up on any of that? I love fucking it. With it. I love it. I fuck with all of it, man. You know, OT. I was just talking to him about that Mexican OT going crazy out there. Yeah. I fuck with him and like D Baby. I'm two of my favorites, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of people, man. Look, Jeremy out there. It's a bunch. Big man. X. Big, big X. Big X going crazy. You got Be talking else. Texas. Yeah, you got it. It's so many things. Uh, Tizo touchdown. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a bunch he going of... going crazy right now. Man, he's so dope, bro. Yeah. He from he, here? He's, he from uh, Port Arthur, I think. Okay. Port Arthur, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he's from Beaumont. He's from okay. Beaumont, my bad. He's from Beaumont. I think. Don't give me the quote, you, bro. But yeah, man, it's everybody out there doing their thing. Yeah, I've been, I been fucking with him since... Uh... That his shit came out in the pandemic, man. Yeah. Way back. Like, like everybody, like, so shit. Don't, don't be man. no buster. That was my yeah, shit. bro. Mm -hmm. Dope, bro. That song was dope, funny bro. as And fuck, he kept bro. doing this shit, like, the same way every time. Yeah. Like, bro, cold. Bro, super nice. Don Tyler, we used to, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, it's a lot of, it's a lot of music. A lot of music. And the whole, the city now, whole yeah, state yeah, taking yeah, over yeah, with, yeah, it, sure, with the music and shit like that. It's a lot, a lot of music. Yeah. Shit, even the ladies, man. It's mainly nah, Houston, ladies, though, right? Yeah, ladies taking over every time. You said who? It's mainly just Houston in, that got the oh, Nah, this is all the... I, I mean, know like, the majority like, in Houston. Houston. Uh, nah, they different places. Uh -oh. But it's like Texas, like Big X in yeah, Dallas, nah, you know Texas, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But it's Texas, though. Hell yeah. It's that, man, they got a lot of artists coming. Uh, fucking Go Yayo yeah, just got out yep. of jail and mm -hmm. shit like that. He got a big following out there. You create your own world out there, bro. Yeah. Literally, bro. Houston is just... It's going to take, it's gonna take you where you need to go. And it make you want to get some money. Like, you got it. as soon as you get there, like, man, you can't be broken. Nah, you got yeah, it. you got to hurry up and get it. You're going to get swallowed. They already got it. They got it. You're going to get swallowed. So you better go there. get what you can get or get the fuck out of yeah. the room. You're going to have the regular, regular, regular niggas out there living like all better than rappers, you know what I'm saying? Like, Niggas having paper for sure. Niggas having that Women paper. having paper. Yeah, I like, like that shit. Women that shit having paper. Women bossing up. Like, money, having dude. businesses and all that kind of stuff out there, bro. Turning up, blowing up, bro. You got to understand, like, it was a point in time when Houston had, we had all of, like, the big name strippers. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was like, that was all we had, though. You know what I'm saying? And a couple rappers come through mentioning and doing that and that. And then from there, bro, the whole shit switch. You feel me? Couple of Houston, Atlanta, Vegas is later. It's up. It's up though. It's up, bro. For sure. 
What's next for you, bro? Like, what mm -hmm. you see? What you see? Man, for your career next. So. Maintaining, working, bro. Like yeah. I say, that 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 uh that program I gave you with the streaming, that's what I do. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, so I'm coding, bro. Like I'm I'm straight, bro. I've always been a dude. Like I ain't gotta be. I ain't gotta be doing the biggest stuff now. I'm I'm cool in my shoes, bro. You know what I'm saying? I can I can goddamn go to Target and go perform for five thousand people. You know what I'm saying? Like I can do both. You know what I'm saying? So I maintain my peace and who I want to be. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool in whatever I want to do. Any day of the week I can do it. And shit, I take care of my freedom. big straight. You know what I'm saying? Freedom. Like, ain't nobody in my pockets. Ain't nobody in my business. You know what I'm saying? I do all my own work, bro. I book my own motherfucking shows. I do my own contracts. You know what I'm saying? I do all that shit. So. It's yeah. all money in for real. Like, that's that's just, ain't no next thing. It's just to keep maintaining and to keep rolling and just get what I got to my little brothers and them and keep going from there. This game, bro. You write a nah, book. For real, bro. Got this shit all figured real. out. Nah, for sure. I ain't got it all figured out. I'm just learning every day. You know what I'm saying? But I try to just keep pushing in that, in that same direction and information gonna come to me. You feel me? I was just asking you about the new, you know, the newer generation of rappers coming out of Texas. They reaching out, getting features and all that type of they shit. They do everything, yeah. They do everything. But for me, bro, like, I don't even be tripping by nothing like that. Like, I'd be like, man, I just like to see y'all do y'all thing, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I like to be able to support y'all because I feel like I had a big play in there. Like, man, whenever, like, when I came around, bro, we had no rappers. Nobody was popping. You know what I'm saying? It was nothing. We only had Slim Thug and them back in 2005 and shit like that. And I come and open the doors up for everything that's going on right now. You know what I'm saying? And went through a lot of kickback and everything. Oh, this nigga on auto tune and all this shit. Not everybody on auto tune. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this nigga singing and rapping. Not everybody singing and rapping. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not the type of person to be like, get mad at that. Like, I'm glad that I had a chance to play a part in that. You know what I'm saying? And see everybody here doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? Making money and continuing what we started and continuing what I had a part to play in for music and. Not just Houston, but just music as a whole. I can see it. Yo. Fucking with it. You see, we got music right here, man. My shit. But look here, man. We fuck with you over here at the 85 no, no, South. It's love, nigga. Forever in a day. It's love, man. I told you, Appreciate man. We already you, consider you a ghetto legend. Nah, for <clears throat> sure. Appreciate it. And, and we wish you... Much love and success going forward, man. man and, appreciate uh, it. I gotta bring my little brother. I gotta bring my. I gotta meet my brother. I gotta bring him up here. He fuck with y'all, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He love that shit. His I name, so we can shout it out right now. Uh, La A, man. La A official. That's his name, right? Yeah. Let me tell you the story. I was on TikTok and then I saw this shit. They had did one of them like, wait till you find out who his brother is, yeah. and then they played the clip. Yeah. I was like, that's hard. Yeah, nah. It's my little nigga. Dog. I ain't know if the nigga was uh, like. If yeah. that was real or that was, you know how motherfuckers be on the internet right. playing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, that's my Did you little confirm little. that shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's your brother. He Not fuck with y'all. He right. fuck with y'all niggas tough, like. Look, hey. Mm -hmm. That's love. You see, he was chopping on y'all already as soon as he got on the phone. He talking shit. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Cut your beard off. He got three strings. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, young man. Wait a minute. <laughs> One day you gonna have a beard. Yeah. You gonna have a big beard of your own. Nah, for shit, show. But that's love, man. I appreciate y'all, bro. Nah, we appreciate yeah, you right, stopping through here. My cousin yeah. down here from Chicago, she love you. What's up, Chicago? She, yeah. she, said, uh, she was all up on that shit. That's going down. And sure. Newface came through. He brought something for you. Got that fresh one. Right? Oh shit. Damn, I don't even got this. Yeah, oh, New Face got all that shit, man. If you can't ever find something, he already got the page mark for you. He just. Damn. This nigga was sagging. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you want me to sign it? Hell yeah. All right, bet. Mate, go ahead and make it official, man. For sure, bro, bro. This whole lot. You fucked him up with that one, Face. I'm trying to read what I was saying. <laughs> Mercy, man, I didn't even get this motherfucker. Man, you didn't get me one. Look, his homeboy didn't woke up. Nigga say, as a freshman in high school, nigga say, I was asking for change at lunch. Man, you just said that shit, man. You killed that shit real. No bullshit. You had that reduced lunch. Man, no let me bullshit. Get nigga ain't working free lunch, nigga. Yeah. Let me get 50 cents. Yeah. 
That shit crazy. It's hard, bro. I gotta get one of these hoes. Damn shit. New face might be able to plug you with one. Yeah, man. You gotta put me, put me down with the get down, man. Look, this your first time stopping through the trap, but don't let it be the last time. Nah, you know where we at, man. Up, bro. Yeah. I'm pulling it back up, man. New face. Here shit. you go, G. I need to get that, Jack. I gotta Can get Can you all plug him with one of them? All, all right, yeah. man. Love, bro. Straight, bro. Appreciate yeah, it. We can yeah, definitely yeah. make that shit happen, man. Nah, Kurt Cobain, 85 South. We out this bitch. Love, baby. Love, baby. Love, baby. Love, baby. Love, baby. Love, baby.